Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our special holiday edition of Focus on Liberia. On this Memorial Day, we're going to be discussing the uh, CPP framework, that's the Collaborating Political Parties of Liberia. We're going to do a deep dive in the CPP framework, and who can do it better than Mr. Asuni Sia, the guy from the politics, the hour of politics. Mr. Sia. Mr. Jai, thank you. And thank you that we are doing this. I'm happy to be here. The other day, my daughter was asking me, you're always happy to be here. I mean, what would you rather do? Not be happy? You should be happy. Hey, folks, thank you for joining us here at Focus on Liberia. Yes, I am Anthony Sia. And uh, we are looking deeper into the CPP framework. And we want you to gladly join us here and also do us a favor by hitting that share button for us so that we all can be able to take a deeper look at the CPP framework. As you well know, the CPP uh, has been around for a little over two years now, and they have been talking about this possibility of reaching an agreement that will bind them together as a single political unit uh, they have finally uh, done that, but many people have concerns about the language in the document. And so we thought to give you all the opportunity uh, to join us as we take a deeper look at the framework. Is it a good document? Are there issues that you can't swallow? Why are other making noise about, I mean, other having serious concerns uh, about it. So we want to look at all these issues so that we can understand what kind of document is it. We want to know what type of document actually it is. It's a, 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 an alliance as they pull it. So we'll be looking at all that. What's the reason for this document? We will be looking at who are uh, the members of the collaborating political party, all the things that constitute uh, you being a member. And we'll be looking at membership they will be looking at the structure of the document. We'll be looking at the roles and functions. And the most important one that everybody talking about, while well, people try to throw words around saying, oh, they're just dividing job. It's actually a process through which they can decide their candidates. And if they should win elections, the process they will go through to decide how somebody become minister X, Y, and Z. We will be looking at all that. So folks, uh, we are happy to be here. Mr. Danija is ready and he and I will be going into this document. Mr. Ja, I'm ready. I am ready. And uh, we, even though we are smart guys here at Focus on Liberia, but we don't know it all, we're gonna open our phone lines very, very soon so that you can join us as we take a deeper look at this document. We're gonna be breaking things down and we want to get your input. So. It is a document that was put forth by the collaborating political parties. So let's first look at what really is this document. If you look at the document, they call it the collaborative framework document. So is it something that is like a party manifesto? Is it something that is like a constitution? Is it something like uh, a foundational document like that of the Declaration of Independence? What is it? and what does it try to accomplish? But first, let's start with this kind of document. Mr. C, what you understanding of a framework? A framework to me is like if you are building a house, you first have the pillows, you have just something to say, this is the framework. This is how the house is gonna look when it's finished. This is right. the foundation, this is the framework. It is not really the structure, it's just the framework. And the name uh, couldn't make it more clear here as to what their intention uh, actually is. Your description there is so unique. It is a framework that spell out their intentions. Their intentions are clear. One, they want to form a single front politically, especially in the upcoming election. Further down in the document, they also talk about the possibility of a major so that tells you uh, that it is indeed a framework that they can build on to uh, put together maybe a merger or a single political party in the future. I think that is the aspiration and they are right to call it a framework. And they also went as far as saying uh, throughout the document, they refer to it as 
they refer to themselves as alliance. The word alliance was used throughout uh, uh, in a and document. Mr. So again, I can say that. Mm -hmm. That confuses me too, uh, the, the use of the word alliance. Because right. all along what we've heard is uh, this is a collaborating political party, CPP. Right. Collabor mm -hmm. They are collaborating. Again, we are maintaining our unique identities as political party. If I'm mm -hmm. unity party, I'm still unity party. If I'm uh, ANC, I'm still ANC. All we are doing is we are collaborating because we, we find something to collaborate on. Now I see that they're calling themselves an alliance, which is more or less like a merger to me. And, and, and they use the word alliance uh, so often in the document that one gets the impression that they already have an alliance. But again, I think they are clear if you look at the structure, the framework that you talk about. First of all, let's look at their logo. They told you that their logo will be the logo or the emblem of the four co collaborating political parties, meaning that they maintain their individual identities, but they will collaborate on issue of you know, seeking uh, political offices uh, as they go forward. Now, one thing they said uh, in the very start of the document that I want to bring your attention to uh, is this. They said that recognizing that there is strength in unity and oneness of purpose. Why do I read that? These political institutions have heard from many voters and my, my, I myself have that same concern and cry that why these too many parties? And if you look at the manifestos, you will find out that they are all saying pretty much the same thing. So why not they come together you know, and form a, a single unit uh, politically uh, to participate in uh, political activities? So again, uh, to conclude, yes, it is a framework intended to uh, cement you know, a formidable alliance in the future. And that's why they use the word major in there. That's my understanding. I'm not interpreting them for them, but that's my understanding. So, so, so this, this document is, 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 a, is a document of a group that is in transition. They're saying, eventually we're going to merge, but in the meantime, right. this is how we're going to operate. Right. So, and that's what uh, confuses me. So I was thinking that, I wonder they have really settled what is it that they want to do. Is it that they want to form an alliance? They want to merge and do this? Or is it that uh, they are still maintaining their distinct political or, or parties, but they are only collaborating? Because you can even co collaborate on one thing or two things. But as I, as I went through the document, I, I, I saw that it's, it's, it's more than collaborating now. Because even before you issue a position statement, or you respond to some policy issue, you have to consult somebody. Unless they are not able to respond within 24 hours, that's the only time you can come up to make that statement. So it's more than collaboration. They are calling it alliance. And uh, I, I think, I think uh, the, this group, CPP, should decide really what they want to be. I remember a story about this, uh, the boy who bought his uh, dog. Anytime he, he looked, when they were coming home, then the dog would turn to cat. When you say, oh, daddy, there are cat in there. When the daddy goes there, then his dog. After so, three yeah. or four trials, the mm -hmm. daddy went there and said, look, if you want to be dog, be dog. If you want to be cat, be cat. So I think that the uh, CPP should decide if they want to merge as an alliance or if they still want to maintain their distinct identity and collaborate on certain issues. And that's perfectly fine. But they so, need to make that determination of who they are. I think there's some identity issue right there. So yeah, I think uh, from the signing of the document, my understanding is that they have reached that point um, of uh, being an alliance because they have agreed on a document. So they have moved away from all their leaders. Do they have moved away? I think they passed that stage. To, to, I think they have passed alliance. that stage. But they said yes, they are using I both interchangeably. So I'm not sure if they are still collaborating or they have formed an alliance? Mr. Ja, at this stage, I follow uh, the leaders speaking uh, throughout when they were trying uh, to craft this framework. And all along, they talk about they signing a 
framework that will be able to bind them together as collaborating protocol parties. They express that just by saying we are collaborating, it's more like a gentleman agreement, and it might not be binding on anybody. What we saw is that in past elections, uh, instead of their feeling a single candidate, we saw that sometimes two of the three parties uh, were put a candidate each, and that's really hurt them in the past. And so the reason that happened, according to them, is that because they were operating or individually or individual political parties. But if they signed, or then they were saying, until they signed an agreement binding them together as collaborating political party, each party at the time was free to fee a candidate. But now that they have signed it, they now have a legitimate collaboration, in my opinion, that is legal. And that's why they spell out how they will even go as far as uh, deciding uh, their candidates to run for uh, uh, elective position. Now, to the other point of alliance, where you, you said that it's a little confusing, are they actually in an alliance? But throughout the document, they continue to say alliance, alliance. That is something uh, maybe we have to ask them for them to explain because you are you say you are you are putting a framework together that will bind you together legally as a collaborating political party legally. And now that you have done that, you continue to use the word alliance, alliance. So does it mean that you are in line? You are an alliance now because it is signed. They need to answer that one. I can't, I can't, I can't or read into that one. So CPP, if you want to be cat, be cat. If you want to be a dog, be dog. Now they call it the final framework doc, the final collaborative framework document. Mm -hmm. So that's right. the type. Let, let's mm -hmm. go to uh, the reason for coming together and we can go into the document because right. this is a collaborating document, a framework. And uh, we mm -hmm. want to look at the reason. Why is it that these parties, four political parties are coming together what is it that right. we want to do? And ladies and gentlemen, if you are just joining us, this is a special holiday uh, edition of Focus on Liberia. We are taking a deep dive into the CPP framework. That's the collaborative framework document of the collaborating political parties, also known as an alliance. So let's see the reason. If someone was to ask why these people are coming together, what the reason will be. Let's look at the document, Mr. C. read that portion. And um, uh, which one? The objectives? Objectives, yeah. Okay, honor objective and objective is honor article four. Uh, and they use the word alliance that you and I uh, have a little or uh, seeking more understanding on. The alliance should have the following objective. So now, before I read further, they have established yet that they are an alliance because they are saying the alliance shall have the following objective to present a single presidential ticket and all legislative candidates for all elections leading up to and including 2023 general and presidential elections. Full so stop. that let's, is one of, yeah, let's, let's stop, stop there. there. Let's mm -hmm. stop there. And, and you know, when you are when you are naming things, maybe uh, whether you like it or not, you put them in order of priorities. Right. I think that's what they are trying to establish here. So number one right. objective for this group to come together is to present a single presidential ticket and all legislative candidates for all elections, meaning they can present a single presidential ticket or they present legislative candidates, meaning if they are, if that's just a by elections or midterm election, mm -hmm. they will present single legislative candidate. If that's presidential mm -hmm. election, they will present a single right. presidential candidate. That's paramount. Right. I have a problem with that, Mr. C. What is your problem? Yeah, here is my problem. If that is your goal, Okay, I think every time you come together, there is a problem that you are trying to solve. Liberia right. is a country and uh, we are all being complaining of our leaders. And even now the political parties are very vocal in criticizing this leader, Mr. We are on X, Y, Z, on all the lapses in government and things they are doing. Now you are telling us the reason for which you are coming together is not, it is just to fire a single presidential candidate. That's your key reason. So regardless of who you give us, the goal they had is file a single ticket, case closed. I, I want to see more of what you're going to do to move the country forward. I think uh, a group will come together because of shared goals. You are four political parties and you all want the same thing for the country. What is it that you want for the country for which you come together? 
or what what is the benefit of that single presidential ticket for the country if it is just a matter of filing a, a single presidential ticket then you don't even have to come together to do that and and, and mr ja that that where i want to differ a little bit yeah uh what you are saying is that coming together just because you want to fee a single presidential candidate and single legislative candidates is not a reason enough for the four political parties to come together. You are saying, in other words, that there are a lot of issues because you can win the election. That doesn't solve Liberia's problem. And so to come together as though just by feeding a single candidate will solve Liberia's problem is more like you're not serious. I mean, that is why you are saying, and that's where I disagree. And here's yeah. why I disagree. I disagree because finding a unified candidate, in other words, for parties to come together to fee a single candidate has been a tough thing in our country. If no, we no. go into the history. No, it hasn't yes. been. It has been. Oh, so why do you think it has not been? So get, give your instances. I will use your own instances to tell you to, to prove your point. Otherwise, don't, don't be too don't be too sure. Uh, Go ahead. After after the eighty five election, um, Lab Loop and UP came together to form the Grand Core. Okay. Okay. And uh, they defeat a single candidate. They, they didn't get to that point. Okay. Yeah, and the, and uh, uh, the alliance or the collabor CPP has not even gotten to that point. Mm -hmm. So it is not unusual for parties to come together for that purpose. Right. Okay. Then we have the, the alliance where they are, the one we know in Labro has progressive came together to fee a single candidate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Clayton Watterson was one of those people that uh, they came together and they say, this is our candidate. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then fast forward, uh, you, you, we saw that uh, the, the, the uh, uh, CDC now is that's coalition. Mm -hmm. Right. So they came together and put forward a single candidate. So it's not out of the ordinary. That's what I'm saying. All right. Thank you. Fair point there. But this is what I'm saying, that the idea of political parties coming together to feed a single candidate, uh, it has not been anything easier than anybody would imagine. It's always tough. Uh, uh, where What I'm looking at here is that the political parties have reached this decision three years before the election. Uh, I think it is something that anybody should look at to say, well, maybe this thing register a very good intentions on the part of this individual because elections is three uh, years away and they are telling us that, hey, we are coming together, we'll feed a single candidate. Like you said, feeding a single candidate has been done in the past. Why have people done it in the past? Because it is a good thing. Because we understand in Liberia that Every time there's a presidential election, we'll have up to 21% on the battle, sometimes 22. That alone confuses the very voters we know who don't have the basic understanding. I mean, not to be a uh, disparaging of them. It, 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 will, it can confuse anybody, especially for our brothers and sisters who cannot read. It becomes difficult for them to decide who they want. So for them to have reached this decision three years prior to the election, making their intention known that this is what we want to do. And let me make it clear, that is not their only intention here. So I think uh, it is something that we should see as a very good intention being expressed by them. Intentions alone are not enough. OK, so the intention here is uh, coming together to feed a candidate. You know, to me, that, that doesn't solve our problem. We can, we can have even the whole country coming together to feed a single candidate. It still doesn't address the uh, myriad of issues that the country face. So the first attempt here is not to solve the problem. The first attempt here is to satisfy their own uh, political uh, uh, quest. Let's Mr. Ja, is, Mr. Ja, I don't see it that way. And please allow me to interject quickly. Sure. You earlier defined framework yeah. quite cleverly. You look mm -hmm. at framework, look at framework of the house, it's just the structure. That yeah. is not a house. The house will have to be built. The house must be solidified with all the materials needed in order for us to have a house. These yeah. people are telling you 
in order for us to work, we need a framework to right. work with. So now that they have reached an agreement on this framework, my belief, my no, understanding is that- Let me stop you. They, the mm -hmm. issue for which they have coming, they are coming together to work. Right. The reason, the purpose. Yeah. What is prompt, what is driving this thing for them to come together to build this house is because they want to feed a single candidate. That is not the only reason. That is so one of the primary reasons, the, and I that's agree. The primary. That's primary. That's the primary reason. Okay, let, let, let's I have to, to ask. I, I have to ask them, but all I can say is that yes, that is one of the core reasons they are coming together, and I think they are right to make it a core reason. Let, let me see. Let me see. Let me think of a. Let me think of a way that I can put it, mm -hmm. if I'm writing this. Okay. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. That in order to address the uh, the issues that the country faces, then I go ahead and list them, mm -hmm. and we realize that. If we are divided, we cannot win to be able to solve those problems. I want to see you injected in there that the underlying motive of you coming together is yeah. to do something. And because mm -hmm. you cannot achieve this doing it alone, that's why you are coming together to do it together. Mr. Jack. Right? right? So, so point... if you tell me, if you put the country first, because I'm out of the CPP, I'm out of there, but I, I want to see what can drive me. Or what can make me to think, oh, okay, these people have now found the solution. Because a lot of time we are put our the solutions in the hands of our, our, our presidents. You know, that Jam. as long as we have a president, our issues are addressed. Go, go ahead. Yes. You, 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 you try to interject. I don't want to, I don't want to be like uh, one of our <laughs> go ahead. I don't want to be like Mr. Cooney. <laughs> uh, yeah, what I wanted to say, Mr. Jam, is that uh these people, uh, they are not telling you this framework is to solve Liberia's problem. The framework is addressing the problem of political parties not being able to come together to that agree on the process. That is not an issue. Of feeding Kennedy. It is an issue. It no. has been an issue from day one, Mr. Jai. Don't say it's not no. an issue. I mean, it has okay. been an issue. So all right, so the, uh, the CDC, the co Coalition of uh, co Democratic Change, Coalition mm -hmm. for, uh, what do you call them? The CDC that is in power now, mm -hmm. they form one unit, they put forward single candidate and that candidate won. Has our right. problem been addressed? And that's why, that's why you mentioned it. The, the, C, the, 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 the framework that the CDC put together that they call the Collaborating Protocol Parties, they didn't put it together to solve Liberia problem. No, the no, no. intention, no, let me learn. The intention of that collaboration, meaning was to form a unit that would governance more votes so as for them to be able to win the election because doing so will increase their chances of winning the election. That is it. It is different from, okay, how do we solve all the no, no, no. multiple problems that we okay. have in the country. And the, the why you're missing is you want these people to include in their framework how they will solve all the problems in Liberia. Oh. And they are oh. telling you, no. they are telling us, this is about all coming together to participate in the political process. And this is not about governance for the most part. Exactly. And I agree. If you say, okay, our, we really don't care how the country is run. No, they're not saying they don't care. Oh, oh no, no, no. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. All we're going to do here is to be mm -hmm. able to come together and win an election. This is our primary objective. Mm -hmm. If that is it, we have had people coming together to win election all the time. Right. That doesn't, that, that's not gonna move me to want to be, to want to even want to be part of you. What's gonna move me is because, uh, because we have this good idea to solve the problem and we cannot do it alone. This is why we want all of you to join us. All of us come together because we all agree that this is the way Labrador's problem needs to be addressed. We all have the same agenda. If you look at our respective political manifesto, we have this agreement about how we're gonna go forward to solve the problems, right? But because we cannot do it alone, this is why we are coming together. I want you to put it in there. But if you just tell me we are, 
we are coming MVC together to, to win election. Then I say, okay, when you win election, then case closed. But let's go to the second point. I know it's just the first point. And let me first, conclude on the let me conclude on this, please. We'll conclude from the second from the second point because right. we are just beginning this. And look at some comments. They say, why only Jai and 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 see it today when it is time for the opposition framework, so-called document. I don't understand that. Oh, uh, I think Mr. Jai is misquoting and misinterpreting himself. That's James Coy Charlotte. Uh, Wayman Cooney said, Dennis is on point. Is there any serious political organization or any organization that has objective without a clearly defined vision and mission? So uh, James said, collaborating is a key word. Please see it from a grammatical perspective. Uh, Randall Gio said, they said only those who will support them Okay, we'll get to that part later. But the mm -hmm. second point here is they want to forge and support a common national interest and present a common political agenda to the Liberian people. I like that. Mr. Jarrell. Yeah. Do, do, you, do you want to believe that if this collaboration alliance as they are describing it now is to hold, it is this framework that they sign they were used to run uh to run campaign do you believe that's what they're going to use because as you look at it it's not a a, a manifesto no no it's it is not, not. It, it is not fine it is a framework intended to turn them into a legal political entity and that's what it is but you and are I saying agree, Mr. that document they should also say Liberia has their problem this is how we will solve it and they no, are saying we are not doing it like that no you are mis you are misquoting me i'm saying all right the thing okay. that is bringing us together mm -hmm. is not just to win election, it's to do X, Y, Z. That's all I'm saying. You have to and put, you have to have there, 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 because there, before you bring, it. Oh, hold on, before you bring us together to work on a common agenda, we must identify mm -hmm. that what, what is it that we're working on, okay? What is it that I've drew these people together so that they can come together as a collaborating political party? What is it? Mr. Jai, that, that they want is to tell to one people that is binding them together. What is it? I'm saying it shouldn't be to feed a single ticket. If that's your objective, then I'm sorry. And Mr. Jai, you continue to miss it. I continue to tell you, you continue to miss it. The document is not to tell Liberian people how we will govern when we win. That is not it. The document is to tell their supporters, listen, to tell their supporters and the Liberian people, this is how we are putting ourselves together. This is who we are. Exactly. And that's why so the document are, is. So who are they? They are a collaborating political parties. According to that document, they are now referring to themselves right. as an alliance. And the purpose, Kony, of, and the purpose of coming together, this, the purpose yeah, of coming Kony together who, is to... Kony, who to is joining this debate? I said it earlier. I said it earlier. They, 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 they are clear that they will fee a single presidential candidate no, 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 and also no. single legislative candidate. That no, that's is one of the objective. Right. Fine. And, I'm saying, and what is I mean, wrong with that? No, let's call that the primary objective. Right? I, okay, for the sake of argument, I agree with you. That is their primary objective. And my question is, what is wrong with that? I've said it over and over. Okay. And what you saying that wrong with it, I don't see anything wrong with it is because okay. Dennis Jai wants these people to tell him in their framework intended to bind them together about how they will solve Liberian problem and my understanding and, and, is and you're still missing are, it. that is not their intention. You're still missing it. I'm not saying the how. I'm saying why are you coming together? You they are, are coming together because they want to feed a single they want to go into the election as a political unit. And somewhere in the document, if you look at their motto, they say stronger together. That says it all, that they want to come together to participate in the political process. That is the goal. And it is clear, and it is a very good reason. It might not be enough for Dennis Jai, who <laughs> is worried about liberal problems and want to see somebody coming to say, hey, I have that manje one, but let us, let us do this. Now that they have signed this, let's give them some time and see, hey, 
what are you going to do now? Now that you are an institution wanting political power, what are you going to do? Then I will join Dennis Jai to hold these guys by their boots and say, hey, tell us how you're going to govern. Mr. C.A., I have been part of starting institution. If you are starting that. any establishment, right, your mission mm -hmm. and your vision, what is it that you are trying to achieve? What is it that you are trying to accomplish? Here hey, Mr. John, they sell it, but you say it's not enough. And no, no, hold, they, they hold, on, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold mm on. -hmm. They are saying the reason, the purpose for which they are coming together is to feed a single candidate. That's their prime objective of coming together. I'm saying it's not enough, but let's move on. And you say yes, it's not enough, it's your right to say so, and they are telling you it is enough, but it is no, not Mr. the only C. thing I want to say that. the same then. thing over and over. You say it's enough. I say it's not enough. Let's move on. Okay, to, first, to work toward an eventual merger of the constituent political parties. Okay, mm -hmm. what the reason we are coming together is to, in the long run, to be able to work to, to, to merge. Even though we're calling ourselves alliance now, but we will merge as political parties. So that's why we are we are test driving, right? We we are in this thing to see how things. I, I don't know, okay, what what going to be some of those things that are going to drive or that's going to precipitate that. Okay, we have checked check. We have put, placed check mark to X, to this number of things. Now we are fully ready to merge. I I, I know they, they have some things that they are going to be looking at. And that will lead to that merger. And uh, even though no timetable is established, but we see that uh, they are going towards a merger. So right now they are in transition. Can we look at it that way? The language is clear that they, 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 they are talking about merger at some time in the future. But at this time, from the language in the document, uh, they refer to themselves as alliance. And uh, I will call them also collaborating political parties or looking at the structure as well. There are some other things we need to read. It is not only to feed a single presidential candidate but that's why we are and reading. legislative candidate. All right. They said uh, uh, Section 4.3 said to work to war and eventual merger. Yeah, you read that. To strengthen read. our democracy. Yeah, another thing to strengthen our democracy through grassroots engagement with our people using town hall meeting. Con community engagement, radio, and technology. The other thing here, yeah, I would never put that in there. If you want to <laughs> use community radio to English. Uh, that we, one is complete nonsense. Uh, I'm sorry for being that blunt. We, we, we. <laughs> so, but uh, to strengthen our democracy through grassroots engagement with our people, you know, you can stop there and that's fine. Yeah, you can stop there, but yeah. you want your town hall meeting. I mean, how you are going to do it anyway, you know, <laughs> anyway, uh, then for, uh, that's why they decided then, then uh, to say. 4.5, which I think they should cross that out to reduce the number mm -hmm. of political parties to an affordable number. I don't know what that affordable number is. That doesn't make sense. They should take that out. It makes sense, Mr. Jad, and let me, Mr. Let, me, Mr. Let, me, let, me let me say is, why it is, makes sense. This, this is my problem. This is my problem because we always nibble at the edges. Before you try to solve a problem, you must do your own root cause analysis. They are saying the issue labor is where it is because the political parties are plenty. So let's reduce them. What is that? You don't see it? Our problem. Our problem has nothing to, you can have 2 billion parties. If people are corrupt, is it big? Come on. You, you merge Mr. four Jack, parties. Uh, if you, if don't, you dismiss, to, don't, dismiss, don't dismiss the fact that too many political parties in Liberia is a problem. It is a problem. And if they are saying that, look, uh, the fact that we intend uh, to go into a major, if we should have achieved that, will also mean that the political parties in Liberia will be reduced automatically by three. And that is something and, and, that they want to achieve. Uh, I think no, no, it's something. No, see, this is why, that's why it doesn't make sense. So when you, when the three of you merge now, that means you're going to put a stranglehold on other parties coming together to carry the number up to 30. Is that what you're saying? That's you why reduce, it you reduce, they, they will reduce it by three because they are four. If they turn to one, they reduce the political parties in Liberia then by three. And parties, that is goal. And then five more parties are formed next, next month. So how can yeah, you so that, that means still the parties are reduced by three, even though no, five more parties. Yeah, Mr. Jai, I'm saying if they reduce it by three and five more formed after that, if they have not reduced it by three, the five added 
to the three will be eight plus the existing number. That's another number. So that is a point. For you, you see it as something very trivial, but they are telling you this is our intention and we should respect it, that. It, it is not trivial. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't solve any problem. It doesn't do anything. Okay. There are other parties that are, there are other political parties that are out, they go bankrupt and they are not able. And so they reduce. So reducing political parties because you merge doesn't solve, do anything. Again, if you still want, maybe you can open it up and get or maybe 19 or 18 of those parties merged so you can have three parties. What does it do? I, I don't see it. But so what would, what, what would, what would Dennis Jia propose uh, with this? you know, numerous political party in Liberia that I believe makes no sense, you know, looking at our country and the population. What will you propose but, as Mr. a solution? CA, that, that's, that's politics, that's election. You know, you can tell somebody, don't, don't be your party. You can, you can, as long as things are transparent, as long as we have free and fair election, people can have two billion parties that are business. It, this are, this are you, you know, encouraging you that put, you, put you know together, people can have as many parties as they want? It's not a problem at all. What what fish are gonna fry in that? Form your party. No, if it's you not about you like, having fish to fry you, in you, it. It's whether you, or not you understand that that is a problem to have no, that many parties. No, in. It, it's, not, it's not a it's problem not, at all. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. Go and let your mind, right. your father vote for you. If that's the political party you want, it's on you. We have to be able to form a structure. We need a process that is very transparent. Now, if, if the requirement to form a political party is maybe you have 200 signatures or 2,000 you know, registered voters to be, let's make sure that the, act, the people they are bringing are actual human beings. Don't corrupt the system and so people just sit in their living room and write names. As long as there is an established you know, process through which those people can become political parties, and that process is fair, transparent. Let's go ahead yeah, from the parties. Too many is political that, parties in Liberia or is it's a problem. Any effort by any group, by anybody to okay. reduce it what even is, by what just is the, one. What is, the, what, what is the problem it poses? What, what's the problem? All right. Thank you. I mean, I'm glad that you gave me uh, the opportunity to speak about you know uh, too many parties being our country. Because of too many parties in our country, our country tend to spend too much money on elections. Because you can't tell me that you will, if you were printing a ballot of two candidates in a national election, it will be the same cost. If you were printing a ballot of 22 candidates, it will not be the same cost. That money we're talking about. So let's assume the person who doing the printing is telling you, so if the ballot will have two candidates on it, it will be a dollar. But if you have 20 candidates, it will be $20. That's a lot of money. And you multiply that by 2 million votes, that's a lot of money. That is a problem. Any dollar we can save right now, it is important that we save that dollar and use it for something very important. So, Mr. Jai, let us not dismiss that having too many parties no, no, in our you, country you, you is a problem. Let me tell you how it you is can a problem. save money. Because every year you do election, it's because you don't have this thing in computer. I have proposed this. The people have all these institutions. They are not trying to find a way to, uh, to solve problems or to cut the cost. So you are thinking, oh, let's have just two parties so we will not spend more. There are other things that you can do to cut that down. Every why, time why, why are some of those things? Technology. I, I, I get your ideas. Technology. Huh? Okay. Te Every technology year is not free. Technology is more, yes. more expensive than you think. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't want to okay. solve a problem. You know, I don't want to be you know, this band-aid solution. You put in band-aid to it. Oh no, 10, 10, 10 ballot expenses. So let's have two, so we can have two. Uh, or or let's have two candidates so we can have two, just two. And that is just one example. No. I can give you as many no, no, as, what as five. Is, you, mm -hmm. It's a band-aid solution. You can do more to solve that problem. Census, every year. When was the last time you, you saw people coming around to, to, to check, to to take census here, okay? There are a lot of things that you can do that we can achieve through the use of technology that we have proposed before that, but that's another story. But that's I another topic, say, Mr. John. Yeah. Let, 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 me, let me progress, let me progress yeah. here. All right, so um, where do we go? To ensure gender equality in public service. Another right. thing that I think, Mr. C, my problem here, I don't want to nitpick things here and there. 
Mr. Jadas is the essence of what we're doing yeah, here. We yeah, are but, taking yeah, but what I, what I, a deeper what I, look at the document. Yeah, uh -huh. but what I want people to realize here and want people to do in Liberia mm -hmm. is, right. let's take a step back All right. and do a critical analysis of our issues. And mm -hmm. then we see how we move forward, mm -hmm. okay? What is it? What is the problem that we are trying to solve? You know, just like the basic why, why, why question. So as to arrive at the root, and then you solve the problem at the roof, at the root. If that problem is solved at the root, you don't see it resurfacing. You know, oh, we want to ensure gender equality in public service. So this other party here, anytime you select somebody, bring woman. Then this other person, bring girl. The other person, bring boy. Mr. Jai, what you're doing there? Eh, what you're doing there is that all oh, because that just men were so it doesn't mean anything for them to have placed in the document you know that they will address the issue of gender equity the general thing is all over the world yeah, yeah but they we say, must be able to allow let me learn we must be no, able to you allow, are coming together as a collaborating party mm -hmm. you are coming together to ensure gender equality in public service what is that it is a good thing. Everybody does is because it is important, Mr. Jai, so they need to talk about it. I guarantee you, if these people have not said anything about gender in the document, my sense is that some people will say, oh, they didn't say anything about gender in the document. You Did want you to dismiss gender equity. They are telling you no, I'm not in everything it. they do. Yep, the, the, way, the, way, the, way, the, the way you the way you try to trash this as they, they doesn't solve any problem. So if no, it doesn't no. solve any problem on the issue of you know inclusiveness, including women into the political what, process, what, then what about, is that will solve the issue of gender? What, what's about the problem of including or uh, 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 disabled community? Why didn't say that? Oh, we are coming Fine. together to ensure that's what I'm that saying. You no, no, no. You are I, pointing I, out the issue no, of disabled community not being mentioned in the document. No, 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 Had it not mentioned general equity, you but, would but never that's my it. But that's my mm -hmm. point. You don't start listing this thing one by one. Oh, we are coming together to make sure that uh, uh, gender e equality. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Jai, you see, you see what you're doing? You have a problem earlier that they did not put in the document how they will tackle the problems in the you country. Still, you still have right problem. Here. I'm right here and you are misquoting me. I'm not saying how they will tackle the problem. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the purpose of coming together should not be just to feed Kennedy. And then why it's supposed to be? It's supposed to be to solve a problem. And that's what I just said. You say I'm misquoting you. No, you say how they will solve it. I'm not saying you should identify what you are doing, going to do. You are saying, I'm not saying you must take to us how you will solve it. How is that different, Mr. Dad? not you. How is that no, different? you misquoted me. You misquoted me. I'm saying when you come together has a purpose, the purpose should be stated. Your purpose here is to feed Kennedy. I'm saying no, it shouldn't be that. If it is just to feed Kennedy, that doesn't address any issue. But let's go to the gender. So if you start listening now- Mr. Jai, I'm a one, team of disagreement that I did not misquote you. You said clearly, they must identify solid reason, that reason that address the challenges of the country in the document. No. It is the same as telling you how. It is the so same as telling you how. Is the same as how? Yes. No. How you will yeah. do it? I will put my one foot this place. I will do this. I will do that. It's not a how. I'm Mr. saying. Mr. Jai, that is I, that is the how. But maybe but, maybe but maybe maybe you're not understanding that way. How can that be oh, how? Because if I write a something, how, a how we have a problem the steps, here. The steps you're going to take to solve the problem. Okay. The steps that you are going to take to solve the problem. That's the how. But I'm saying, why? Why is it that you are coming together? You All right. have spent I, the, you are spent I will leave it. Years. I will leave it there. I will okay. leave it there. That makes progress. Then, okay. So that's so only a reason for coming together. We have some disagreement there. Let's go right. to. Let's go to uh, the next thing. Yeah, I want. To, yeah, let's leave this uh, membership thing. Uh, no, we'll come to membership. Let, let's see who are who are these people, the collaborating political party. What's the identity there? You know, so mm -hmm. you know, the, the the way they identify themselves. These are four political parties coming together to mm -hmm. form this alliance or to work towards this merger. Four parties. I wonder what's what's the essence of the number being four. I, I wonder there's a 
because those who who emerge uh, for the lack of a better word superior in the last election is that is this, is this the framework or who are these people who are these part, political parties coming together what 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 established them you know how were they identified to say okay let us merge is this something that is open to anybody to come and be a part because they have been full political parties for like four years now so if I may ask, who are these parties? What will you say? I will say the parties are who they are. ALP, mm -hmm. LP, Unity Party, and ANC. And that's why it is. Now, to further say something about it, these are the parties since the election who have expressed the need to come together as a unit Mm -hmm. to participate in the political process yeah. what i was wondering throughout is, the time what i was wondering is have they been able to say okay since we are four and their strength in number has our motive suggests let's right. go out and bring in more political parties or have they been able to say okay we were the four that uh, went to went to the supreme court and so we've been working together and so we should continue working together or has there been any room for others to join them ever since we started hearing about the cpp that that I don't know. Yeah, that I don't, whether no, or not they have gone that, out. Mm -hmm. I don't I know whether they that. have gone out to seek uh you know the the willingness of other political parties uh to join them. That I don't know. But what I agree with is it is their right as no, four political parties to decide definitely. that. Huh? Definitely is their right. Yeah, it's their right to decide that, look, uh, sometimes when you have too many people, there tend to be too many conflicts. And uh, maybe we had a common pain politically in the past. So maybe we share that same pain. Now we share the same aspiration. Uh, let us work together because it seems that uh, we felt the same uh, during the election. And maybe we feel the same way politically about this government. So let us come together. I don't know whether they have asked other political parties, you know, to see if they want to join them. But I mean, I'm saying it is their right to say, hey, maybe we're okay, we can go forward. I agree, it is their right. It mm -hmm. definitely is their right. What I'm looking at is uh, when I say the identity, who they are is, uh, okay, here is our party platform. And we found out four of us, we are almost saying the same thing. Okay, here is what we, the way we believe that they are, our economy should be addressed or the economic issues should be addressed. This is how we think healthcare should be approached. Do they see the commonalities among their platforms? Is this why they are coming together? Or they feel that they were, they emerged at the top or they have more money or, you know, because they were facing the same issues. Because you see, there is a, there's every election cycle, things change. So we saw that TWP of yesterday that was the strongest political party is now today. NDPL, NPP, and you name it. Okay, and uh, Unity Party is still trying to be gasping for air after the Unity Party led government is over. So if you emerge top at the end of one election cycle and you think you are the only, you know, big boys and girls in town, and so you should come together and other people are, you know, less, you know, I don't want to say less important, but they are of less value. This is why we, the top dogs that came out of the, the previous election, that's why we should come together. That's why I'm, I'm just wondering. I don't have an answer for that. I'm and, just and, and I like that you are wondering. And if yeah, you're not I'm, wondering, I'm, then you yeah. might be speculating. Yeah. But I want to maintain here uh, that the four political parties uh, have expressed the need of collaborating. And they have been collaborating in principles. And now they have a framework that binds them together legally so they are now collaborating legally as we speak, and they are even going as far as calling themselves an alliance. The question of actually, how did they make a determination as to whether or we are the big guns, or maybe we have the bigger packets, or we want more votes in you know, combined in the elections, and all other parties want less. I don't think that is the issue for the most part, because if you look at Prince Johnson, Prince Johnson, I believe, want more votes than yeah. uh, Elizana Cummings, all right? Yeah. So I don't think it's on that basis. If, if they, there are many the factors, they took, in, yeah, they, they, they took many factors into, into consideration. 
Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, but we don't know uh, I mean, those factors. This, yeah, we don't yeah, know those uh, factors. So we are speculating. No, I, don't, I don't know them all. I don't yeah, know yeah. them all. But this and, is and, the one I know with my political. Uh, let me make a point. This is the one I know. What I know is the political party agree, in my opinion, that Joya is not the best guy for the job. I and think, yeah, they can come together. The a lot yeah, of the they can come agree. together looking at their numbers because if you look at uh, the Liberty Party number, the ANC number, the UP number, and ALP number, put together, looking at the first round of election, you will come to realize that if they were a unit, in that first election, they will have flogged Joey. Well, maybe the variable will have been different, but looking at the numbers the way they are, that informed them that, okay, this is a possibility that, you know, have we collaborated in the past? You know, we will have gone or maybe we are defeated. We are so lateral. Maybe it's on that basis they're making. Now, yeah, leaving people so, in the so, maybe they're looking at his record as well. So you, you don't think it's anything alone or party platform or the party philosophy? You think... I don't think so, and this is why, Mr. Ja, I don't think so, and this is why, because all the platforms that I've had the opportunity to see in Liberia, they all talk about the same thing. Like we're talking about general equity. I see uh, our brother Keto is saying here that uh, it is a trash because the government now is working on general equity. So Keto is actually saying that because Mr. Ja has a, a platform, so when I'm talking about having a platform, then that's trash. That's the point he's making. If general equity is important, for which the government is working on it, if another government wants to succeed, the CDC government, that government should be able to continue. So I don't think that is a trash. I, I don't. I don't think if I mention anything like trash. No, no, no. I said Kero. Our body Kero here is oh. saying that for the parties to be talking about, you know, the work on general equity, he said that trash because the CDC is already doing a good job according to his comment here. So they're talking about it, it's trash. And that's why I'm saying, no, it's yeah. not trash, Kera, because it is a good thing. That's why the CDC is doing it. And so any other person that may be coming after the CDC should be able to continue that good thing. So, so let's, from the document, this is what they say, they call the identity of the alliance. Mm -hmm. The alliance shall be called Collaborating Political Party, CPP. Right. Mm -hmm. The emblem of the alliance shall consist of the logos of the original four political parties in this inner square. Right. The logos of the party shall be in alphabetical order. Then when I talk, you say, okay, the flag of the alliance shall be a square image. We are here to talk, so the, talk. Of and the I will four political with parties you and I agree with you. <laughs> constituting the original four members. So that tells me that they, they are open maybe in the future of having of having other people joining them. But in the meantime, they are going to have their logos to represent. So if you come later. Maybe we'll add your logo there, or maybe we'll go without your logo. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But this is what they call their identity. I, I think identity should be a little more than that again. No, Mr. Jai, it does not have to be. Once defines uh, how they want to be identified. I want to be identified and so this year in a court suit today for this particular show. That is my right. The political parties coming together, they had their emblem. And I may be right where you partly they could say, okay, since we are coming as a unit. Let's decide what emblem we can use as a unit. But it is also their right to say, well, uh, in order not to confuse our people and not try to suggest anything new to them, and you know, let's just use our emblem and make it a uh, uh, very simple. Now, to the point that are they suggesting that if another party should decide to join them, they will follow the same pattern. My my smart answer will be yes, because that is the pattern now they have established. Four came together, maintain their 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 party emblems as the, the emblem for the collaborative political party. So if any other person coming and I think they're going to change it, they will add that person flair. And that's why you're saying, well, then it would be ridiculous. But again, that is their right to do so. I, I, don't, I don't think they're going to add that. And that's why they are, they are, stress, they are, they are stressing original. Mm -hmm. So just like uh, the Labyrinth flag, you know, three colors representing the three original counties. Right. These guys are saying these are the four original members. And so our logo will remain that way. If you mm -hmm. come, maybe we can put your logo somewhere, but that, that's it. But again, coming to identity, anytime we use anything, our war has the identity. When we take that off, then we're no longer mm -hmm. that person. So I, I want our identity to be little more than what you are made of that, than what it is on you. You know, our logo, our symbol, our this, that's our identity. I wanted something a little more intrinsic, but 
That's just me because. So what what, what would be that little more intrinsic that the nature I would love to see? Unless you don't call it identity, but if you want to call it identity, then I I, I want to be something that is inside, not not necessarily in, in addition, I, I, not necessarily outside. I don't think identity is something uh, 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 inside, Mr. Jack. Identity is more predominantly something that is uh, physical, it's, visible, it's or visible, on the outside as compared to something invisible. So, I mean, in my opinion, they are right to say uh, that is their identity because if you show your ID, it carries your picture. If Dennis Jack appears here today, I know the guy, I work with the guy, I say, oh, that Dennis there. Even your voice, I can identify. Well, even though I don't see your voice, but you know, yeah. from the sound now, of it, you coming to what yeah. I'm? You coming to what I'm saying? Well, I said predominantly physical. Oh, okay. I said All predominantly right. physical. You are saying and, and you and want a little more just... intrinsic. Okay, that, that, that's okay. You know, it's just style. You know, they can have their right. identity. I don't have mm -hmm. a problem. And ladies and okay. gentlemen, if you are just joining us, we want you to participate in this. Uh, we're going to be posting the number. You know our numbers already. So uh, call that number. We're going to be uh, and we're going to invite you. I'm seeing uh, comments already. Let me read. Yeah, let me read some comments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, you already read from Wilton. Yeah. So Richard Clinton said, "Mr. Jad, did you say the CPP uh, strength in numbers? Uh, that's the that's the logo. It says strength in numbers. He said the guys are fighting among themselves to formulate a framework document. I don't think they are fighting. Every time you want to put together a document, you should be able to uh, uh kind of." Sometimes butt heads to be able to come up with something solid. Mm -hmm. They're just saying the problem they are trying to solve is to find one candidate to contest on the ticket. In other words, the problem Liberia continues to have is the absence of a single ticket candidate. Sad. This is an indication of a visionless bunch. And I agree with Dave. That's exactly what I was saying. Uh, and I disagree with that. The framework is not legally binding. They, uh, Mianta say hello, focus on Labro. Mianta, we miss you. Where have you been? Uh, <clears throat> Randall Gay say they talk about roles. Willem Kato say the issue here is not just coming together, but what the collaboration will do differently to make the change for which they are collaborating. I, be, I agree. Uh, and I, they and also I, and say I agree. they just want to win election and share jobs. The TWP, NDPL, UP, CDC have done so. They are looking for their opportunities also. Uh, Richard again say, come on, guys, let's look at the technical aspect of the of the document, of the framework. Mr. John, let me read this one from uh, our analyst, Mr. Cooney. Anthony is working backwards, desperately trying to defend an indefensible document. Companies come together on shared vision for markets before defining personal structures of the new entity. There was a vision for FOL before it was decided as you will be host and participant. Uh, that's why Kuni said uh, right there. Let me read this one. Oh, that day's job coming. I think you read that one. Right. Uh, Kera again. Let me read this one from Abner and Kera. You saw the issue here. It's not just kind of, okay. You read that. All right. So let's go to membership. Oh, the mm -hmm. numbers. Uh, let's uh, put the number. Let me get the number and. Uh, I want us to, to, to go to the sticker issue first before we open the phone lines. Okay, let, let's go to membership. I don't, I don't, we, we, I don't, the, do the, just... the issue of membership is not controversial, Mr. Jack. Let's go to the one other person saying no, the devaluing job. No, that is in no, the... no, here is what I want to talk about membership. Mm -hmm. Because I think, I think they, they did a, they did a very, I don't want to say poor job, but a membership of the Alliance. They said the members, the Alliance have, shall have a founding membership of four political parties, they name them. Uh, alliance parties must all sign a legal documents of principle that will guide the Alliance. Mm -hmm. Members of the Alliance is open to accredited political parties. Then they have the obligation to members. And then they came to loss of membership. That was very the most confusing part on membership. The first okay. did not really, did not really, okay, this, did not determine how you become a member. The document did not establish that. It said it is open to all accredited members. But I think there should be a framework. Okay, even though I'm a accredited political party, but how do I become a member of the CPP? It's not in the document, Mr. C. Mr. Jack, is there? What, 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 how are you reading this document? 
Okay, let's see where. Let, help you me. just you just read that. They are telling you that all the members of the collaborating political parties, I think somewhere that they even define, uh, they, they, they consider themselves as what? Well, funding members. Yeah, so yeah. in as much as you are a member of the no, no, collaborating no. political party, you are the member of no, the no. alliance. I'm, no, I'm saying, so from today, as of today, how does any political party become a member of the CPP? And you didn't see that? No, there's none there. You just read that, so read that again. No, the well, you just read, read, read it again. is open to all accredited political parties. Fine. Is that what you're talking about? Is, this not, is, that, is that not defined? No, but how do I become a member? It's open to me. It's open right? to you. So how you, do you I... go there and apply? You want one to say you <laughs> must apply? Exactly. You must be 18 years. You must apply. You must be 18 years of age. Is that why you want that? No, I want them to define how you become a member. You say membership. Yeah, I'm is asking open. you if that's why you want that, then I will agree with you. That's fine. If that's no, why you want, that's I, fine. It's not what I want. I want. I want because this is a framework. Because other no, Mr. Jai, are, it's what you want. What they want, that's what they gave you, and you don't satisfy with it. So you telling them, this is what you would like to see. They told what, you that membership is open to mm -hmm. all collaborate. I mean, it's, it's open to all accredited political parties. And we know in Liberia, in order for you to become a member of a political party, legally in our Liberia, at least you must be 18. I might be mistaken, but I would think you, might, you have to be 18 years of age. All right, in order to become a, a, a member of a political party. So no, the no. fact that they have open membership to no, no, all accredited no. political parties, no, you are, that you are presupposes that that person. No, CPP membership is not on individual basis, it's on party basis. Okay, it's political parties that are becoming member of the CPP or the alliance. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they are saying members, uh, membership is open to all political parties. Mm -hmm. So does that define how you can become a member of the CPP? Yes, it defines it, Mr. Jai, and you want them to go word by word. No, no, no. What, I will what? agree with you that, yes, uh, you can demand that from them that they should specify it enough, but they told you who are qualified to become a member, and they are, say, they are so, saying so, accredited so political parties. If I'm qualified to become a member, what do I need to do? Are you... The, the, are you talking about political parties joining yep. the, the, yeah, the, yeah. the CPP? Yes. And that's, that's what part. I told you. They just said it. All accredited political parties are qualified to become member. Mr. C. you are qualified to attend uh, uh, Morgan State University. Right. Does that establish the process on how? On what basis am I qualified? Oh, as okay. You are qualified as. Anybody living in America, you qualify. Let's 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 just say it that way. And that is the qualification they sent yeah. out. So now I know that I'm a human being. I can walk out to that university. Don't let me learn. You ask a question. No, no, but you know, you 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 dodging the question. So because no, I'm not you dodging are qualified, the question. because you are qualified to 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 attend or, or have a university, does mm -hmm. it mean does it tell you the step to 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 to, to attend? No, in this document, like you just read, they didn't specify step one to A, but they, 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 in the, the document spell out who is qualified. So the document spell out who is qualified, all right? And no. all accredited political parties. So if I know I am a member of an accredited political party, I can By show default. and say, well, my party is accredited, uh, I'm qualified. Uh, based on the language of a document, I'm here. Now they can follow, tell you, okay, this is why you do, this is why you do. And that is why they don't have that, that you want them to put there. No, 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 no. Mr. C, I don't you, want you to say, I want it. Any, but then, any Mr. Group. Mr. Jai, who no, want no, it here? No, no, no. Who want it here? Group. You are the any, one who want it. But why would you not want it? Any because group is, any group that is established should tell mm -hmm. us how we can become part of them. Yeah. Don't say, oh, it's open, it's open, to uh, it's open to all of you. Yes, somebody can say that. That is open to everybody. But but you can tell me how I can become a member. When you get to the door, maybe they will tell you how you can become a member. But but they have not told me in this document. They have not told you, and I agree with you. Okay, th then let's move on. That's all I want to say. And then, then let's move on. about the loss of membership. Mm -hmm. Why I'm saying this is uh, because uh, that's why I was setting you up. They didn't tell us how we can gain membership. They are telling us how we can lose membership. Right. And, and, and that's 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 what that's what that's what our Liberian politics have become for so long. They don't tell you what they are for. They only tell you what they are against. 
They don't tell you how you can gain, even in the church, they don't tell you how you can gain salvation. They don't tell you how you can go to heaven, but they always stress how you can go to hell. This, that, that, that's a problem. So loss of membership and all an aligned member may lose his or her membership when mm -hmm. five, that 5.1, 5 when a political party resigns from the alliance for cause or is dissolved by the National Election Commission. You see what they said? That's auto. So it means you can lose your membership when you resign or when uh, NEC dissolve you. Then That's when it comes to- they, they have further, they they have further explanation down. No, further explanation now is the causes. So that's a, they did a very poor job on the loss of membership because they said the only way you will lose membership, they didn't talk about how they're gonna even uh, take you from there, right? They said the only way you will lose membership is if that political party resigned from the alliance or if it is dissolved. Then when they say causes, in other words, causes for loss of membership shall not be limited to. So why you separate the two? And, then they talk about inaction. They talk about all the other things. Uh, go go back and read that state. Read that part again. I think it's 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 it's, uh, it's poorly written. You're talking about the what part? Five five. The whole loss of membership thing. All right. Yeah. They say you will lose your membership because one section say five point five point one. You will lose your membership when a political party you resign or you this you that. So under that now, they should also state that you can lose it when you are expelled. You can lose it when you are this, when you are that, all that in one section. Mm -hmm. But if you came, if they came to another section and say, the cost for losing shall not be limited to in action, the party is consistently maligned, consistent violation of the agreement. But I don't want to go too much into it, but really when you get home, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, it's not. It's not properly written. It needs to be. Yeah, it's not properly way. written, and they, they they do need to do a better job there. And myself yeah. too. I don't have better understanding of that, so I can't give. But what I can say is that yet yeah, they can do a much better job, and I I want to agree with you too. Um, the issue of how one can be a member instead of just stating or accredited political parties, you right. know, can join it is not enough. They need to give the specifics as to the process, step one, two, three, I'd agree with you on that. But I also want to maintain the argument that the fact that they said accredited political parties can join, I'm sure when you go there, uh, they will be able to spell out the steps for them. But I agree that they needed to put no, that in should, there. You should put it there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you, you, you don't want us to do with the structure because another confusing part here is the structure. They go yeah, let's go to the structure. Talk. It's a very important one. Yeah, and, and, and that's a part that, uh, because when I see the structure, I want to see and throughout the document, what I, the problem, another problem I have is it does not have a logical flow. So it's like they are going here and there, here and there. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm putting on, you know, I'm putting too much burden, but, and uh, certain things that were not spelled out. Okay, let's go to the structure. Mm -hmm. Okay, the governance structure. They start with the National Assembly of the Alliance. So you talk about the National Assembly shall be the highest decision-making body of the Alliance and shall be composed of equal number of delegates chosen by the Alliance, you know, and it, it goes through to list. So uh, the National Assembly, then they say the delegates shall be the following. And they say the National Assembly shall meet the National Assembly, what I don't see there is the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is the power of the National Assembly. Uh, the power of the National Assembly, the National Assembly of the Alliance shall meet within every three years to, mm -hmm. what is that word? Uh, to let me see. coincide. With midterm, I think that's the word to coincide with midterm senatorial and presidential election, provided that the holding of any such convention shall conform and comply with the timetable and deadline for the election and the submission for presidential and legislative candidates set by the National Election Commission of Liberia. And then they go further by saying, Chairperson of the National Assembly of the Alliance, hmm. the presiding officer of the National Assembly shall be the incumbent 
uh, rating chairperson of the National uh, Advisory Council. Right. Uh, I, I really don't like this part of it. Uh, no, I, will, so, I will recommend that they do. Where they, where they did a better job, in my no, opinion, no, uh, no, in this document, Mr. Ja, is no, the no, issue no, of that, delegates. Right. Yeah, that delegate something is good, but they, don't, yes. they, they didn't define the function. So as you read the document further down, somewhere they will slip in something on the National Assembly. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Because, but if you if you are telling me these are the people, tell mm -hmm. me what their role is. Mm -hmm. So from the National Assembly, if you mm -hmm. come down, and you, they talk about the National Advisory Council. Mm -hmm. Again, what you will not see mainly identify will be what are they supposed to be doing? Well, here uh, in section 6.2, Mr. Ja, uh, in section 6.2, National Assembly Council, that National, no, National Advisory, sorry, the National yeah. Advisory Council, National Advisory Council of the line shall consist of the following prominent yeah. members. The stand up barrel. Do we know that? Uh, but what party are they chairperson, to be doing? Yeah, party chairperson, heads of the legislative caucuses of the alliance parties. And then what is their function? They say each party shall nominate a woman to the council provided no, <laughs> a party configuration as a what well, per section, blah, 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 does not include a woman. Now, why you I'm agreeing with you here is that they spell out these structures. Yeah. A, a National Advisory Council, but they didn't specify their core responsibility. Yeah, no. The only good thing that they, they did here that they, there is that they told you who are the person that are going to form the National Advisory Council. And that's, that's the, the presidential candidates and blah, blah, exactly. blah. Exactly. That's the, and that's the, that's a major flaw in the document because people are accusing yeah. you that you are coming together for jobs. Mm -hmm. you know, Jai, don't don't say they're coming together for jobs. Uh, it, 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 it might be a poor, it is a poor job on the other side. We want to yeah, see the word made, but this is not uh, about job. Even if it is for job, no, 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 I, no, I, I respect I mean, that. No, mm -hmm. I mean, I mean that uh, because you are not mm -hmm. even telling us what you're going to do, but you want to identify people who will do it. Yeah, so so you, are know. Also, you are very much concerned with personnel. Mm -hmm. So because it's always about who in Labro, who, oh, who the person. We, right. we don't focus on what. What is it that mm -hmm. we're supposed to be doing? Do, yeah. That, that, that's my. And if, if right. you look at the structure, you will, you will see a lot of that there. And then coming down, they talk about the National Executive Committee. Mm -hmm. Let me show you one thing they did. Mm -hmm. If you go through the budget, who, I mean, uh, through the document, who is mm -hmm. responsible for budget? Mm -hmm. In, at one point, they say the National Secretary of the Alliance shall consist of always, they talk about, they talk about people. Yeah. By the time you tell me the National Secretariat, I want to see what they're supposed to be doing. Before you come or who, the National Executive Committee shall have membership of five person. They should have this person. So it's always about the people. Mr. Jordan is an important part. You need to tell the people with the people you don't have anything so what i'm agreeing with you they should be able to define their roles and responsibility you know consistently because when we look at the national advisory council they only told us in the document who going to constitute the national advisory council but no. i did not see that what specifically in clear terms would be the responsibility of the it's, national it's, advisory council they didn't really say that point, and, it's in 6.6 .6. Mm -hmm. the national assembly shall perform the following function and guess what? Select candidates, mm -hmm. adapt platform, mm -hmm. adapt the budget of the alliance, review appeals from alliance members relative to decision emanating from any structure. Mm -hmm. That's their function. Again, the National Assembly Council, the National Advisory Council. Oh, no. Oh, sorry. They, they missed this thing again. OK. They talk about the. The national now when it comes to six point six point one, you have mm -hmm. the national assembly. Yeah. Sorry, the national assembly. And yeah, there are functions. Yeah. And the so national the national assembly. Hold on. The national assembly shall perform the following functions: shall elect candidates for the national offices for all national offices, shall adopt the platform policy programs of the alliance, shall adopt the budget of the alliance, and shall review appeals from alliance members relative to decision emanating from any of the structures mentioned herein. Now to the National Advisory Council down, they came here, they said the National Advisory Council shall, I mean, being a non-administrative organ of the alliance shall perform the following roles. They shall advise, 
the leadership of the alliance on mantos bordering on policy decision they shall provide in-house counsel to the national leadership on the alliance government they shall advise the leadership on the alliance on the what you call this one mr jazz c-o-o-p yeah we're to co-opt co-optation yeah co-optation okay of the political parties within the membership uh, in the alliance they shall advise the national uh, leadership on fundraising and shall provide counsel on the formation of the alliance ticket. So, uh, so they have we, the function. So we jumped the gun there and yeah, uh, we apologize. The we jumped the gun there. They, they have the functions for the National Advisory Council and they also have the functions of the National Assembly. So uh, we jumped the gun there. Uh, yeah. We to say, yeah, we are sorry. Right. They have that. Now, now the, mm -hmm. the national the national executive committee mm -hmm. somewhere they say they will do the budget and then another place they say the executive will do the budget so i'm not sure who's going to develop this budget mr john before we go further we we have one of our uh, uh viewers here asking a question why only ja and ca my name on the screen i'm not ca i'm ca all right uh why only ja and ca today uh, when it time for the opposition framework, so-called document, say so why us today? Why only us? Well, if you let's open the phone line so you can join us, my brother. Yeah, we'll soon open the phone lines. The phone lines, I think, are open actually. They can call in. Yeah, Mr. Jar, please tell Kuni to leave me alone. He won't be part of the debate. He saw the flyer. He should have called. The man debating me. Why he not even in studio? Let him leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? I mean, they, they, they say they say uh, 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 if you don't want a sudden death, don't take your father's title. So and you yes, the thing, when, when the man on the platform here, yeah, when I gave him protocol, Bella boy, he can't swallow it. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, you you call it the sticky issue, but um, now as you as you go on, you will see that uh, you will mm -hmm. see that they will put something in there that was not mentioned before, so they kind of go back and forth. And then they introduce some new things. Like for instance, they have some group called the decision-making body. Uh, I don't know where I saw it, but if you go, I think the first time you see decision-making body is on, uh, it's on uh, 10, 10.11.9. 10 no, 10 they say all recommendations from the constituent political parties shall be submitted to the decision-making body of the Alliance we shall ensure compliance with this with this framework. I looked through the document. I couldn't tell who's this decision making body. So just something on the structure there. So what, what I saw through all the document is sometimes they introduce something, and when you go up, it's not you don't you don't see the reference. So it's like they're going back and forth a lot. Uh, I think what they could have done is to maybe give give the, the document to some to independent group. That is not part of the CPP, maybe to review it because there's too much uh, back and forth. And so I couldn't see any logical flow. You know, it's like when, when I'm looking at something, I want to see from top to bottom. Well, I don't want you to tell me from top, then I come to the middle, then I go back to the top, I come to the bottom. That, that's what I see. But let's, what, what next on the list? You want us to what go to the top? Next, what next is the, we just then with the, the structure and then roles and function, we dealt with that too. So, how to come up with elected elected officials and uh, appointed positions. Right. And mm -hmm. that's a big one. Kesali Dava says, CA and J, I am the C I am the CPP will do a complete overhaul and proper editing of that framework document because the document is full of a whole of uh, ambiguity. The time spent on that document and the composition of the educated people who help put this framework document in place did a very poor job. That's Kesali Dobo. Tony K. Davis said, this is a legal document. If you're not a lawyer, you won't understand. So it's so let's call a lawyer. All mm. right, Mr. Ja, let's go to uh, 10, section 10.7 okay. and go uh, further down to uh, 10.11.5, uh, that where we will start. No, let's start to 10.11.4, all right? 10.7 to 10.11.4. Uh, so, so that is uh, banners distribution of candidates. Mm. In a representative race, no constituent member 
party shall have, I don't want to read this one, garden principle governance and after election. You want us to take this one? Section right. 10. I mean, it's the whole idea. Mm -hmm. You know, in an event that the alliance produces an absolute majority of members of the Senate mm -hmm. and the House allocation position shall as practically as possible proceed as follow if the president is from party A, you know, all those things about, so we have that on the elections, you know, if, if we have the president, the vice president, we want the speaker to come from another party and then we can go to that other side. Let, let me share this so we can discuss it, Mr. John. Um, if you look at it, let's talk about how do we select the uh, candidates for election. Let's start yes. with the, the presidential president. and a uh, 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 vice presidential candidate. Yeah. They call that one mechanism. Uh, there are three ways they talk about. They yeah. talk about consensus, they talk about VPS, and then they talk about yeah. primary. No. So, oh, really? Yes, it's, it's in a document. If you go to the mechanism. Okay. No, yeah. I, I'm confusing where they say consensus, compromise, and that. Yes, the word compromise is also that. Uh, I see compromise and consensus to be more of the same, in my opinion. Uh, but let 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 try to uh, give our understanding of the document the way they wrote it. So they talk okay. about consensus. On a consensus, they are saying uh, we, they, we go. To, you say it's on a mechanism, right? Yes, it's on a mechanism. It's on a mechanism. So what they say here, they talk about consensus. They talk about compromise. They talk about VPS, and they talk about primaries in deciding uh, all their candidates uh, for for election. So on, on, on all of them, they said, let's start with the presidential and vice presidential candidates. They said they will use consensus, meaning that the four political parties, Mr. political C. leaders. I think you, 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 you put in, you're putting different things together. All right. On a mechanism, they say the alliance of the initial four political parties therefore take cognizance of the application of six basic principles or rules of engagement has crucial to the achievement of its objective. So when it comes to the overall objective, they, they talk about consensus, compromise, communication, consultation, dispute resolution, internal dispute resolution, no, consultation, and, and all that. Th those are the things. So it is, so when it comes to getting people now, elected officials like the president and vice president, they talk of yes, consensus. So go ahead. I just wanted to put in that that they were talking about the broad base uh, mechanism of doing things, consensus, compromise, communication, consultation, dispute resolution, and social and political networking. This was another very, very uh, shallow work that they did. They, what they did, though, they simply defined those things. Yeah, tell and, us. and it's, it's basically trying to see how can we make that thing or uh, 25 pages while well, that's yeah. something they're trying to do is a high up here. Oh, sorry guys, if we, we, we are sounding a little tough on you, but as I was saying earlier, they clearly talk about how do we go about selecting their candidates. They talk about consensus, they talk about compromise, they talk about VPS, that's the voter perception survey, and they talk about primaries. On consensus, president and vice president, they are saying they fall. Uh, political leaders will come together. All of are saying, hey, guys, you all go in that room and we give you 24 hours or three hours, come by and tell uh, who will be uh, the president yeah. uh, or the presidential candidate, all right? And that is what they are. So they are saying, if that consensus does not work, yeah. then they have to go to compromise. I don't want to you know, try to understand what the compromise, so I don't know how they're going to Maybe you, you you pay attention to that. They not pay attention to that. Uh, so you want to yeah. share your thoughts on that? Yeah, because first consensus is all of them should agree, mm -hmm. right? But mm -hmm. if that doesn't work, let's say one person there say, uh-uh, over my mm -hmm. dead body. Body, yeah. Then they will see how they can compromise. They say, okay, since you don't agree, this is what we're going to do. We're going to mm -hmm. give you money, or we're right. going to make the vice president come from your party, mm -hmm. or we're going to make the pro tempo, you know, those kind of things. So right. then you have a compromise, a given mm -hmm. thing. But it said, in that case, it got to be a win-win. Mm -hmm. We're not just going to say, okay, because you are the most recalcitrant person, mm -hmm. we're going to compromise with everything you want going to be that way. We're still going to do a win-win. Right. And one good thing they, 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 they said there is that 
assuming that party A uh, in their consensus uh, is decided upon as the uh, president, then the vice president or presidential candidate will come from the other party. And then yeah. if they are fortunate enough uh, to win the election, and also assuming that they win majority in both houses, the fact that the vice president and president are from party A and B, the speaker and the pro tem will come from uh, party C and D. Yeah. And the other, if they, they have other position to fill, maybe if they can find somebody among themselves, then they will try to bring somebody who is of independent. I don't know how you give a key position uh, for your party to an independent. How does that help you? I mean, it just, they trying to think that, oh yeah, we are open-minded, but I, I would tell them straight in the face that that would be a, a, a protocol mistake that you'll be making. For example, let's say you win both houses, right? So you got a pro tem, you got a deputy speaker, you got a, the, 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 so there are four protocol party, president, vice president, speaker, pro tem. So your deputy speaker, what are you gonna do? You're gonna go with an independent person? That independent person can dodge you or leave something about you. Why would you want to do that? You know, yeah, uh, I, I, that one doesn't make sense to me. Right, but even before that, uh, mm -hmm. I, I I don't know where I read it, but it which looked a little ambiguous because I think somewhere again they said the president will be the one to pick his or her running mate. Yes. So they so said you are that. Two different things. Yeah, they said and and and, and they said that in fact uh, the person will have like three what three months. To make yeah, that decision. If you don't make it, then we will, we will make it for you. Basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is it is it that when the president comes from party A, they are, but we will give you the, the person to pick, but that person mm -hmm. you should pick should come from the other party. Right. So, but if you don't do it, and they will always pick someone. I think I think they should, if you if you go into that consensus now, I think that consensus should include picking president and vice president. What do you think? Instead of giving it to the president to pick and then coming back, if you give it to the president and, to and, pick. And, and that's how I think it should be. I, I, I would think if I were advising them, you know, because you are a unit. So whether the president decide or you decide, you know, I don't know. But my thing is that if you are having a consensus, let's say, okay, you're going to room and give her a president. They are fortunate enough and then they get a president. And now say, okay, we need a vice president. Let me use the same consensus again to pick the vice president. Right. And you say now, okay, consensus this time uh, maybe can work with vice president. Then according to them, they go to compromise. If compromise can go, then you go to VPS. That the whole VPS thing now, I can't understand because they say the VPS result not is binding. not binding. Yeah. So why are you using why that is not binding? <laughs> All right. And then if yeah. VPS doesn't work, I mean, VPL is never work because it's never bounding. It's not bounding. Right? But they can make it to work. That's why they have to put it there, in my opinion. So I don't want to be so dismissive. And now you go to primary. If I were advising them, this is what I would do. I agree with the consensus thing. I don't agree with the compromise thing. Do the consensus because compromise, when you come to compromise, you are opening up Pandora box for corruption. If I have a bigger packet, I would try to buy somebody out and that one you don't want to encourage. You do not want to encourage that. You do not want to encourage that kind of compromise. I know these things happen in Mr. politics. Money Mr. will play there. Mm -hmm. Mr. C, this whole idea of collaborating. And you're talking about, because there is no way, anytime you introduce election or talking mm -hmm. to people or doing this, these things are bound to happen. But I said from the beginning that oh, it doesn't matter they have 200 parties. If people really want to, they have the same, they have the same mind. Come on now, marriage and be one party. But what they are doing is a very difficult thing. And I, I think, I think, I, I, I pray it work, but it's very difficult because that element of deep pocket is gonna come. Uh, you have four, four persons, right? Four political parties. So there's no tiebreaker, right? Mm -hmm. So that compromise and consensus and all those things, there will always be friction. People gonna right. have backdoor deals. After you have made up, the place is over, people gonna meet and money gonna change and things gonna happen. It's a very difficult thing because uh, politics is never in a straight line. People got to do certain things, but if that's what they want to do. But one thing that I think is missing, oh, first of all, what I wanted to say is about the VPS. 
is the most expensive part of the whole exercise. And that is the one and that is the not binding. One that is not binding. <laughs> and we saw that, we saw that, mm -hmm. and there's politics everywhere. We saw that this was something that's being pushed by the ANC. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so anytime you see this VPS in this document, you can see the ANC fingerprint all over it. All over it. And the consensus thing, my understanding is that it's being pushed by I think two of the political parties, UP and I think, uh, uh, I don't want, I'm not sure, but I think UP uh, has been pushing that. Uh, yeah. And then the other party are pushing the issue of primaries. Because everybody look at the hands they are playing, okay? Mm -hmm. Yombly Kanga or Liberty Party, for instance, she's uh, the new kid on the black. Okay. She's a new kid on the black. I don't think she's a national candidate. So uh, right. in terms of president, uh, presidential candidate, I would think she's out. But don't be surprised, Shima Len, uh, of our presidential. Uh, That's where the compromise come in. <laughs> That's where the compromise might come in now. Does she have the money? Does okay. she have the money? Because there are others who are playing a, a weaker hand. So mm -hmm. they're going to pull other strengths. So Mr. Ja, on the issue of, uh -huh, this thing is important too. They talk about funding. Oh, yeah. You talk about funding. I want to you read that. So they say, I think three months after the signing of the document, each member of the collaborating protocol party need to deposit $10,000. Yeah. All right. They will use that money to open their accounts. Then every year, each party will contribute, I think it's $24,000. 4000 yeah. And it will be uh, installment payment. And that uh, when you default, I think they made some... Uh, uh, so they got some language there. Uh, they say well, one we'll month. If you default one month, they will kick you out. They will kick you out completely when you default in so. one I month. I think all suspended, but the, that part did not form part of the laws of membership. So that's something I saw that uh, it didn't it didn't align. If you look, yeah, let's go I don't, I don't think they will kick you out right away. Uh, I'm not sure where we can let's get let's it to go on a money. To read it specifically. I think let go on a funding. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, finally, why I try to uh, okay. focus in cyberspace, you are watching Focus on Liberia. This is Anthony C. and Danny Jazz trying to take a deeper look at the CPP framework. Uh, we did a little reading about it, and we are trying, you know, to talk about it the way we see it, uh, the ones we understand and the ones we don't understand. And with the hope that by us doing that, you will also get uh, some insights about the whole document. And that is why we are doing. We want to say thank you for joining us here at Focus on Liberia. Our phone lines are open. You can place your phone call now so that you can be part of the conversation. 8.2.2. .2. You'll be 8 surprised 2. when you read that. Okay. I know I saw it and I can remember it. Yeah. It says 8.2.2. .2. All right. All right. Failure to make contribution as prescribed in section 2.2.1 and any other agreed upon financial contribution year in or as may be required will render a member non-compliant and consider to not be in good standing. A member that is non-compliant for more than one month after an installment deadline and considered in good standing shall lose his membership and all rights associated with the CPP as per Article 5. So they are clear. Exactly. But when they listed how you lose your membership, this was not there. Yeah, this maybe this one has to do with financial. So it's also in the document. So just take it. It doesn't no, have to no. be in the what, same what place. I'm, what, what, what I'm saying is uh, mm -hmm. don't give me a document like an afterthought. So after you, 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 you state all the reason why someone can lose the membership, Mm -hmm. This is not there. Then coming down here, this is like you sneak it in. I think you need to be aware of it. That's 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 the financial. But the quarter section five point five point two though. So let's look at five point five point two. So maybe let me go to five point five point two. That's the loss of. Uh, okay, go there. Five point five point two say all oh, the protocol party consistently refuse the protocol party consistency consistently refuses or neglects to fulfill a financial obligation. So they are right there. All right. To fulfill a financial okay. obligation as provided for in Article 8 of this framework, provided there is no pending undetermined matter or grievance filed by the defaulting matter, 
that party is found guilty of violating the provision of this agreement, provided that that process is accorded. So they are making reference to that. So I think uh, the, the on point read them. Yeah, but to say that one month after the deadline, you don't pay, you are out, that's tough. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, I, would not, I would not do that. I mean, one month, you don't pay, you out. Come on. You, you talk, <laughs> you're telling uh, Liberty Party, for instance, to pay 24000 a year every six months? Liberty Party, where are they going to get that money from? No, yeah. don't follow Liberty Party. They got Dillon, they got Yumbly, and they got other park people. And Mr. Jade, there are some people in the background, people who got parties, uh, who are not wearing the protocol uh, or carrying the protocol faces, maybe the ones that have the pockets. But mm -hmm. uh, if I were advising them, you do not want to do that, that the person failed to pay 24000 United States dollars. All the parties are broke. You go to their headquarters, you can see. Where are they going to get that $24,000 from? You know, to pay, and if they don't pay, you know, uh, I mean, they lost membership automatically yeah. within that one month period. Uh, they're not serious about that. Maybe they are serious that uh, you must pay that money. So, Mr. Mr. C, let's look at your dispute. Mm -hmm. You know, phone lines, please call the number is pinned there 605 313 6004. The code is 791403. Coin, join the conversation. Yeah. They say, oh, for internal dispute. When there seven point five point one, when there is a dispute, the mm -hmm. alliance has set up an ad hoc grievance council. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. comprising two members from each of its members to constitute its dispute resolution platform. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they say platform. What is? Or is that a committee? One of the two persons so nominated shall be an alternative. Okay, when they say the alliance should set up an ACO, I don't know who is going to do this specifically or which group, but they say the alliance. Then it comes to this, they say the grievance council shall elect a chairperson and all that. Here's the one I want to, uh, because this ad hoc grievance council, then when it came to mediation, when it came to mediation, then it looked like they have another group, but I'm not trying to, I'm, I can't find that part now. Yeah, Mr. Jack, I want to leave that grievance part. Uh, let's talk about the executive presidential appointment. Yeah. Category of position. So uh, folks watching us, on our executive presidential appointment, they list all the appointed position in our government into categories. They have the cabinet levels, that's the minister proper, have autonomy agencies and cooperation, state owned enterprises, regulatory authorities and commission, that's the uh, cabinet level position. Then it came to a uh, geo cabinet level position, that's deputy minister, you know, assistant minister, heads of deputy and all that, ambassador. So that's the, then it came to, there's a, another category said technical level, that's assistant directors, you know, all those people, then they came to local government as mayor, superintendent, assistant superintendent, and inspectors for county, then local government, mayors, you know, statutory district official, district administrator, blah, 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 town chief in Liberia, the state appointing town chief, Jesus Christ. So they have all the categories, and now they are deciding how member parties will uh, recommend individuals within uh, their parties for these uh, appointed positions. So the sticky part that everybody's saying, oh, they just devaluing job, as uh, uh, my man Kuni will say. Uh, they say so, so you can leave Kuni alone too? I'm not leaving you alone because you're on here, you're still commenting. <laughs> I'm not leaving you alone. All that making the conversation you say. Uh, so 10.11.3, only noon, active, invisible members. So, before we continue, I want to ask you, are you new, Mr. Jai? Are you visible or are you active here focused on Liberia? We have to define the terms. What does <laughs> new mean? <laughs> how many people should know me before I'm considered new? And how visible, how many eyes should see me before I'm considered visible? <laughs> and how many meetings should I attend to become active? The, 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 the document here the, made some definition, but it didn't define that. Right. They, yeah, have, they, have, they, they define a lot of words, but not that. Yeah. So uh, now, reading that further, they say 
On the known active and visible members of constituent political parties shall be recommended by the parties. Yeah. All right. And then they went 10.11.4 constituent political parties shall recommend members in the counties for local government position. Again, on the known active and visible members in the county shall be recommended by the parties for local positions. And this is very, very troubling that they will put something this subjective. It's not defined. So I don't know, in that county, the party chairman can determine you new, active, and visible. Or if there's any way, any framework that has been established, because this is very key. It is if, key. I'm, if I'm not recommended and the issue is because I'm not active, new, and visible, I want to challenge that. And what is it that I'm going to use? So, Mr. Jai, uh, I will venture into this territory mm -hmm. that uh, it is explicit as to who is new and who is active, all right? That new, active, and visible. For example, if I'm a member of the party. No, you, you say, say it's explicit. So I'm looking for the section that I need to read. To and, see and, 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 and I'm agreeing with you that they are not explicit. Okay. So now they, they, they have left this thing open. They have left, left it open that anybody can contest it. If I can say, okay, I attended a meeting just this year. So I can tell them, say, I'm actually invisible because I was in one of the meetings. Somebody saw me, so I'm visible. That person can make that contention. If the yeah. person attend a meeting in two times, I mean, uh, just once in two years, the person can say, well, in 2000, uh, in 2020, I attended a meeting. So I think that was being active by going to a meeting. You have to be active. Then I was visible in that meeting and somebody saw me. And even where's the meeting meaning? My knee is on that rooster. So I'm active, I'm known, I'm visible. That person can make that contention. I, I think I think they should go back. There's one area where they should go back and actually define it clearly. Yeah. So yeah, as to avoid a lot it. of confusion. If not, mm -hmm. people are going to uh, contest this. And, yeah, but people, people one thing that yeah. I don't see in this entire document, and I don't know if I'm supposed to see it, right? About because as uh, one of our analysts here would say, mm -hmm. Moravia base. Yeah, I, I don't see anything in the counties, any reference, or uh, that is very substantial as to what power those in the counties are going to win. Uh, even when it comes to uh, appointment in the county as who to represent, let's say district number two in Sino County, they did not give any power to the local people to be the one to determine who will represent them. It's still the consensus, the compromise or the VPS. I think uh, if we want to take power away from or this central government system that we have, this should be reflected also in our political parties how we really involve people in the other counties. There's, there's something I have here, Mr. Jai. Let me share with you. Maybe we can get a little clue. Or uh, that is 10.11.6. They say, for the purpose of this framework, each constituent yeah. political party shall define full makeup of a county executive committee. So mm -hmm. they're just making a reference that there will be a, a, a county uh, uh, executive committee. So uh, yeah, and, again, and, I think you will say ask who is the maker of the country executive. No, no, it's, it's like they are relegating it, you know. Okay, yeah. you can decide that. Because yeah. it's not it's not their it's not their full it's not yeah. in their full preview to say, mm -hmm. okay, this is what the counties will be bringing. I, I want and, to see a little more strong or, or section on the counties and what they okay. are. Okay, another one they said recommendations from the parties. Four local government positions shall be made by the county executive committee of each constituent political party to a national executive committee. So uh, with this, they are making the suggestion that they will have a county executive committee. And to have a county executive committee, the little knowledge I have about political parties, the executive committee will either be you know, the elected officials within that particular uh, 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 locality, they will try, but they will always form part of the executive committee. And so, like you said, it, like they are already getting that particular responsibility to them. Uh, maybe that's why it is. Maybe they are, they are, they are wisdom that we can't put everything in here. Now that it's being mentioned, 
as to who will be charged with responsibility. Uh, maybe further down the road, we can go out and craft all those things. Maybe the India, I mean, they have a lot of work to do, uh, uh, but not much is being said about the county. And I agree with you 100% because the county make up the country. So right. if your counties are not structured properly, if you don't have a clear cut definition about your county uh, or structure, who is who, what's their responsibility, then of course you will have a problem. It was just that whole let go. It's like uh, CDC, what's this guy? The, your counties or uh, uh, superintendent. Yeah. Uh, I, I know the guy, that guy was just passing around, causing noise, oh, CDC, CDC, and that's yeah. how he got his, uh, his appointment. And you know, it's not only to this party, it's with all the parties. Our exactly. parties are not strong in all the countries. They are weak. Even in Moravia, they are weak. The only <laughs> thing is that Moravia is populated. When they say, oh, right, everybody come and wear the same T-shirt. And so we get the feeling that, yeah, something is stru structured yet, yeah, but it is not. And, and, and this, the entire CPP, mm -hmm. from the structure and the way it is presented here, look like a Moravia-based thing. And, and we, don't, we don't want things to always be like that. And, uh, but the, doc the document does not tell me that. Yeah, the document will not say that. The document will not say anything about any county. The document only mainly talking about the leadership, and we know all of them are in Monrovia. So is there is there where power is structured, and that's how it's going to be. And the only time we get something from the county is, hey, county, make a recommendation and tell me uh, who you want to be. Mm -hmm. The counties are not really involved in that leadership. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's maybe I'm looking at it because that's the same thing we saw in my hometown of Dudwiken, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody, there was no mention of CDC in that place. We have a color. But as soon as the election was over, some guys mm -hmm. then put themselves together to say with CDC. They send a list and boom, everybody on that list is accepted because they come from the party. And Mr. Ja, that is the winner of our democratic process. And that is why earlier I was telling you, these two many parties, it's a problem and we got no, to address it. And you are saying no, that no. just reducing them by three, it does not mean anything. It, it no. means something. It you know, uh, if the we, parties we have, are we have fewer. A caller, Mr. Mr. Okay, let's take that caller. All right. Caller, that's Wilton Kettle. Mr. Kettle, yeah. welcome to Focus on Liberia. Hello, Mr. Wilton Kettle, you are live. All right, Mr. Kettle may be away from the phone. Oh, no, no. Uh, uh, brother, I'm here. Thank you. Oh, okay, Thank you, Mr. Kettle, you are Thank live. You for having me. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I've, been following, I've been following the program, and it's very interesting um, um, for you guys try to dissect um, the document, the framework, mm -hmm. according to the CCP. Um, but but this, this is the thing. I have a lot of problem with the document. It's not a bad thing to collaborate, um, but you have to do it with sincerity. But, now, Mr. Mr. Kettle, please talk about it. They said they are not hearing you. Talk a little louder, please. So you put, can you hear me loud and clear now? It's trying, but it's can not. Can you hear me loud and clear? Yeah. It's better now, Kara. Go ahead. Okay. So, so from the get go, you put this government on blast for trying to wish hunt people within the government to fire people. Um, at the time, the president did not even take office. The campaign was when the president took office, he would, he would kick, move people from there, bring all seditions on board. And that was the story that was going around. Now, you come, you don't, you have not even established yourself as a political institution. But in your framework, you are telling people that you will only give jobs to people who are bona fide CCP members. Bona fide. So, are you saying to me that the other people of I mean, political parties that are personally employed in government would be everybody out and only bring in CCP members, then that's, that's, that's not a good thing. Secondly, the document, the first document came out and they went back and changed it and they brought another document the next day, I guess, to launch. And it has kicked back ever since. Every sector in our country talk about it, in the diaspora, talk about it, even within the opposition, they are split on how this framework is structured. And so 
understand why they can't go back to the drawing board and, and, and see if they can fix it. The reason is simple. They do not have what it takes to rule or lead our country. Those guys are the same people with the exception of Elizabeth Cummings. Those guys are the same people that were in authority before want to come back. It's like putting all one in new bottle. So Mr. Keta? Yes. Mr. Keta, uh, fine point you I'm made, right? Be... Yeah, fine point you made. I just want to come in and ask uh, a question. Uh, yeah, you cool. said that I agree with you that these people have had so much time to come out a, with a much better document than what they have right now. I agree with you. And on that basis, you are also saying, uh, I don't think they have what it takes uh, to be able to lead the country. Because looking at all the noise they made all this time, and this is what they have to share after they have all this time. So uh, if we can use that yardstick, uh, which I will want to agree that, yes, you are right, I agree with you, that they should have come up with something better than what they're giving us. They have so much time. The, the CDC uh, that you are sympathetic uh, about, when they came to power, or before coming to power, should have had a governing document. They didn't have it. And when they came to power, uh, they told us they were going to come up with a proper document, uh, the PAPD. It took them up to seven months. They made promises that will come out this time and that time. It never <laughs> came out. But finally, they came out with it. Does it mean that the CDC doesn't have it? And if the CDC doesn't have it, okay, so, using your yesterday, why are you supporting so, them? So, mm -hmm. That's exactly, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. You said, I'm saying you in, in, in reference to opposition, you right. said the mm -hmm. CDC did not come out with documentation to prove what they, what they, what, what they were saying. They didn't bring anything out. Uh, it took them this long to bring the document or the proper agenda or whatever. You've been criticizing this government from the very get-go, all right? But now you form a political, you, you try to establish a political group that, I mean, two years or maybe almost two years ago, that you could not come over for framework at this time. What difference are you going to bring? The problem here is we are now looking at the reality of, of what is happening. The people that are involved in this collaboration, they were the same people that signed an agreement. And uh, don't take my word for it. You can go back and, 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 and look it up. They signed the Gantad Agreement during the election that the, the collaborating for the, the parties that were going to the election, if any one of them, the full sign, including the CDC, if any one of them were coming to court second, the rest of the political party were going to support them. And when, when CDC came off second, what happened? I mean, first, what happened? All of them back off. All of them back, back away. So you, and, and for, for me, a man word should be his bond. Especially when you have fixed your signature somewhere, you should live by it. That's why I give Prince, Prince, Prince Johnson credit because all of them signed that document. And I want Prince Johnson give his support to George Weir. Unfortunately, those guys were through, they back off. So how is it now that they can convince us that what they are putting together, they're gonna really stay together right. and see it and see it through. Mr. 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 Keta, it's hard to uh, to get that assurance from any politician, being it a uh, CDC politician or CPP politicians, as to uh, actually living by what they tell us they will do when they get in power. And even the Prince Johnson you talk about, uh, Mr. Mr. Keta, uh, may, may I interject? The Prince Johnson you talk about. Uh, Prince Johnson did it because of his political interest. It was not because he said that this is what I'm going to do. That's why he did it anyway, because we know Prince Johnson has said many things in the past and he didn't follow them. If you want me to give you an example, I can go ahead. The first time I, I know I, I listened to most of the things he said. Yeah. I listened to most of the stuff he said and he went back on his work. Yeah. But what mm -hmm. I'm saying, we, mm -hmm. are, we, are, we are saying, I call it when I say we are talking about the opposition, I'm not an opposition, but I'm saying we are saying we want that change. Mm -hmm. This government is in ebb. This government mm -hmm. is in error. This government is doing this. So we are the fixer. Why mm -hmm. are we not being real, real to ourselves and to the people that we say we want to lead? We're coming with deception, with manipulation, you know what I'm saying? And hypocrisy. Why are we doing that at this edit stage? Mr. Keller, where's the deception, I don't see, I hypocrisy, and manipulation? Just say that and we can, you can conclude. Yeah. Should I give 
and yeah, Dennis. The deceptions, manipulations, and the last thing you said? Hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. If you can oh, say hypocrisy. Conclude with those. The, hypo the, hypo the hypocrisy is the hypocrisy is you were you were holding this government, you know, for to fire from the get go about expelling people from the, the government who are not sedition. Now you created a document that you're gonna expel people after you become a, a, a governing a, a, a group. You're gonna expel people who are not like you. So yeah. it's it's his practice right there. Okay. Then where, the, where they said that, that people who are not like you? No, no, no. Kero, no. make that clear. Where they said yeah. they were expelled some people who are not like them. They said they will expel if you don't vote for them. It, Go ahead, Kenneth. If you are not a bona fide member of the collaborating party, you are not going to hold government position. It's in a document. Only CPP member, bona fide member, will be uh, employed into government, into those key positions. I, I, I didn't, I didn't see that, Mr. Kenneth. Kenneth. We read the document. We didn't, we didn't see that. that oh, only. Uh, oh, you guys were not member. talking about the, the, the ministers, the governors, the deputies. They, 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 they talk about that? They said will be recommended. They said will be recommended. Yeah, their, their members will be recommended. If you recommend and, somebody that they mean, so it means that they will not be higher if you recommend them, then why, why, yeah, why if you, you it, just open? Uh, Keda, you can recommend somebody to President We are President We are can decide not to appoint because he, at that time he's using the Constitution. Let, let, me, let, me, read, let me read section 10.11.1. All constituent political parties shall be represented in the cabinet. Cabinet positions shall be allocated amongst the constituent political parties and all other qualified Liberians, whether or not they are members of the alliance. Fine. Oh, well, right. what the part you guys were reading, what you guys read? The part you guys, but then it's the, the document contradicts itself because certain part of the document, they are saying only bona fide or, or, or No, they didn't or use the word bona fide. They who? said no active invisible, Mr. Carroll. No active and visible, the, and they use the word recommend. Okay. okay. If you know active, yes. Okay. That's the okay. same thing. Mm -hmm. And, and Mr. Kato, I thought you were recommended. That's a key word. They said recommended. Recommended. Throughout, they said recommended. Yeah, Mr. Chow, what are you saying? No, I said one thing they said somewhere. Is uh, if you vote for somebody who is not member of the alliance or who is not a, their ticket? Who is not on their ticket? They will take you out. I, I think I think that was that's that tough. Uh, I think people in the in alliance should be they should still be allowed. They say if you even go on radio, and you talk about other people, you promote other people, they will take you out of the alliance. Yeah. I think just like uh, Joe Liberal Republican convention. And we always have that. I think uh, if you think that uh, if you can vote for member of another political party because that's the one you find to vote for, mm -hmm. I don't think they should take you out. But again, if you want to be member of the alliance, but those it, are their rules. Those are their rules, and uh, you no, can. No, but is that is that is that is that no? But is that democracy? We saw yeah, we saw yeah. Uh, uh, the late John McCain, the mm -hmm. late John McCain voted against a, rep a, a, a Republican agenda. On the floor, right. we saw that. Right. Does that mean not to be a, a, a Republican? It's not. It's yeah. not democratic. It's not out. Coming, say so, you are, you work, that one is that the that one is that internal is is their internal rules, uh, Mr. Kero. I agree with you on the point that yeah, if it is democracy, the person should decide. But you have agreed to be part of them, and that's their rules. And so, if you violate that the rule, they are saying. The, Go ahead. And, and, and Mr. Steele, the point is, it's not their rules. They are talking about us Liberians. They are going to be rules. Uh, 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 no, 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 Mr. Kara, that one is not true. They're not talking about individual Liberians. No, no, no. They're not. They're talking about their no, members. No, no, no. What, what I'm trying when I say us Liberians, when mm -hmm. I say us Liberians, who are they going to be governing? No, that who one. That one is. That is. That one is not about the national election. Yeah, it but, is about their but, members not voting for their candidates. We have other callers. Just conclude, Mr. Kara. Let me just let me just ask one question before I leave, Mr. Mr. Okay, if, go ahead. If there's a decision to be made in Liberia, mm -hmm. you know that will affect the country, and a mm -hmm. member of the CCP see that it is wrong, they go to us to vote, and I may vote against it. Mm -hmm. Are they going to kick it out? It's not. It, 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 is that is that fair? Is that what you're trying to tell me? It's going to fall on us. It's going to fall on us as a country. Mm -hmm. Is this thing going to be affected from it? 
So mm-hmm. that's what I'm I'm saying. It's not it's not it's not democratic. They should not even put that in there. And, and and it is your right to say they should not. What I'm telling you, I'm not saying I agree with them, and I'm saying you who have decided to be a member, you have to understand this and make that determination whether it's something you want to live with. If you decide I still want to be a member, and then if you go against it, if they fire you or take you out, they will have the legal reason to do so because you have fixed your signature to that document. I'm not saying it's right. What I'm saying, it would be in their right to do so because you agree to it. All right. Th- thank you, Mr. Oh. Kedo, for, for calling. Thank you so much, Brother Jai, and thank you for having me. Thank yeah. you. All right, Mr. C, and let me read that portion again mm-hmm. about loss of membership. Joining okay. in the formation of a network political party, alliance, mm-hmm. association, or publicly advocating for the formation of a network political party, mm-hmm. or promotes the ideology, interest, or policy of a network political party, you will, you, you will kick you out. Two, campaigning and voting for non alliance candidate at the general election or by elections. Mm-hmm. I don't know how you're going, they're going to know that I vote for. Uh, the, the person vote is a secret. So the <laughs> issue about this saying and voting, I don't know how they're going to know. But the fact that you are campaigning for another candidate, yes, I will agree that uh, they should take you out because if that means you don't believe in them, you believe no, it is your right to, to campaign for somebody else. But I mean, no. you are agree to be part of them. Uh, I agree with them. They can take you out. That's their right. That's yeah, their law. No, that's their, that's their right. You know, that's their right. We're just mm-hmm. analyzing the right. Right. You know, the right stuff. If you yeah. make emotional speeches for and on behalf of an individual mm-hmm. or organization which may undermine the objective of the alliance, you know, because the whole thing is uh, my brother can be in another political party who's not part of the alliance. Right. And he's running somewhere, and you are saying, if I make any, or if I campaign for that person, mm-hmm. I wonder why if that person doesn't even have a, a, a right. alliance he member. independent. Right, or an alliance member going against that person. Right. Let's say we, you all the way, you know, beyond God back there doing your thing and you don't have yeah. alliance opposition. Right. You say, say, I can't, I can't promote, I can't campaign for my brother or my friend. Well, these are the things that are- uh, Yeah, I think they, 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 they need to take that uh, out. Uh, you don't want to expel somebody because they have decided that look, uh, it, it, there's a saying that blood is thicker than water. Yeah, I'm part of the alliance. But I mean, for Christ's sake, my brother is running independent and he's going against a member of the alliance. So I have to decide, I have to come the cause. So just say, okay, uh, I want to support my brother. And so I think the cause is that my party going to, or the alliance going to kick me out. Then let them kick me out. Maybe after that election, I can come back and say, hey, he was my brother. I mean, I needed to be there for him. So I'm mm-hmm. sorry. Uh, maybe they can consider me. But, but I would not put that in them. Here's the tricky part. Mm-hmm. The alliance is not for individual members, it's for political parties. Right. So if I'm in party A and I'm canvassing for my friend mm-hmm. in uh Kulahun district, you are saying you will kick me out of, you are not keep kicking my party out of the alliance. But you are kicking me out as an individual. I was not a member of the alliance in the first place. My party is. So are you saying my party will expel me from my party? How, how is that going to work? Mr. Jai, are you suggesting that one uh, party might be part of the alliance, but the person may decide not to be? Because the alliance is not for individuals, right? Is it? Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. It's for political parties. Mm-hmm. So you can see, so the political parties are members. Mm-hmm. So when a political party is a member, by default, I've been part of that political party. I'm a member of the alliance. So it comes, it, so it comes to the uh, to this voting thing, and you find out that I promoted somebody else. Mm-hmm. So you are going to suspend me as a member because I was was I a member in the first place? Or if or my, uh, here's the thing, Mister Yeah, first let us establish that by you being a member of any of the collaborating political parties, right? The fact that you have pledged membership to any of the collaborating political parties with the signing of this particular framework, you Mm -hmm. are automatically a member of the CPP. And that is is clear in the document. Right. So I as an individual. So as an individual, if you decide to support, let's use the example of your brother, because that's a good example. 
who is not a member of the collaboration or not a member of any of the parties in the collaboration. Yeah, he's member, he's member of so that person may be considered as, you know, an opposition to yeah. your party it's or to the collaboration, line. and you went out to canvas for the person, they are saying bye-bye. Okay, we have another caller on the line. Right. And a caller from 763-3214-8452. Your name and where you joining us from? Caller with 8452. Hello. Your name and where you calling from? Caller, go ahead, you are live. What's your name? Hello. Yes, hello. Your name and where you calling from? Caller, we can hear you. Go ahead. Your name and where you calling from? All right. So here's the thing. So now political parties and individuals are members. So if they find me, they expel me from the alliance, but I'm still a member of my party. It's kind of tricky. It, it, it's, 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 it's tricky, right? Right, very tricky. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, it, it, you know, uh, it applies to the file later. They can punish your party because of your individual mm -hmm. decision you made to support somebody other than the alliance uh, ticket. So uh, that decision is fairer, in my opinion. They can punish you or they can punish your party because of your action yeah. uh, is fairer. But, but what, is, but, what is my party expected to do to me too? Uh, it's not defined in the document, it's but they, 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 as a unit, as a unit, they are taking a decision against you. I yeah. don't think your party will cry for you. Why are you doing that to our member? Because they all sign that when you put your signature on that document uh, as a party or any of your leader, because that the chairman signed, I think the chairman and the uh, so uh, uh, protocol leader signed, right? So the fact that those people, they sign on behalf of you. Yeah. So technically your, your signature is on that document. Yeah. But you know. I know still part of that party. If that party win, we all win. Yeah, we all win. <laughs> so, but Mr. Jia, let me let me ask a question. Mm. The argument other people have made, uh, including our analysts here, that oh, this is a jaw devaluing arrangement. Let's say these people, or not, let's say as we are saying now, these people have come together uh, to form a protocol unit to contest yeah. for the upcoming elections. If they win. What is wrong with this saying that, you know what, we'll give priority to our members in terms of forming uh, the government. What is wrong with that? Do you find anything wrong with that? Yeah, you, you, well. I use the word priority. Yeah, people come together and uh, they, see, they decide what they want to do, but mm -hmm. because of where we are coming from, you know, because sometimes it's based on our experiences that something become bad or distasteful or, you know, not the right time to say it you know, premature based on our experience. Where mm -hmm. we come from and what we are we have seen so far is this issue of job. You know, people are crying or when uh, say when the CDC took over, they had a list. You know, so if you are there, you are not a member of the CDC, you go in. For areas where those were or uh, uh, civil service jobs, mm -hmm. if there were hundred people, they wanted all hundred out. If you didn't put them out, then they, they brought additional 100 persons. So Mm -hmm. That office that's supposed to take 100 person now have 200. Mm -hmm. So that's the background. That's where we are coming from. So if a group is coming up and this group is establishing a framework and the framework, the, the, what the, the, the priority that should be given to from now on to election day. But when you go beyond the election on how the job will be distributed, then people are reminded of their past experience. So yeah, this is what I would say to that. Uh, and I will use the CDC as an example. First of all, I don't have problem with any political party winning and deciding that we will prioritize our partisans on the basis that they are qualified. I emphasize that qualification, that person or those individual must be qualified. Mm -hmm. If you have qualified individual for all the appointed positions and they are Liberians, and you are a party and you go ahead and appoint them and they are able to do the job so the factory to move the country forward, I have no problem. Mm -hmm. But I also know that in no way uh, in Liberia that I know that a single party will have all the qualified people they need 
you know, to occupy uh, all the position in, 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 in government. And so let me make this point also. These people deciding how they will form a government should they win should not be a problem. Yes, why? The no, CDC, no, no, the no, CDC, no. yeah, we'll bring, we'll bring uh, Ismail in, let me make my point. Yeah. The CDC as a party did not do that. And I can say that with the almost authority here. The CDC did not have a process of how they will select their candidates. Let's float it around. Right. I, I think Ask for winning. Mr. C, I, I don't think. All right. So these a, people are telling you this is the process that we will go by. This is the process that will guide us. The people did not divide any jobs in this particular document. Those who are saying it, I will say to them, they are lying strictly. The people did not tell you how they would divide jobs. They lay out a framework, recommend, recommend. Let's use the word recommend and recommend that's, that's, what that's what I'm saying. I, say, I think the, the major problem people are having that is reminding them of the past experience is this should not be your focus now about what you're going to do after the fact. Since yes. you are setting up this framework, you have mm -hmm. come together to contest this election, mm -hmm. do things that will drive you from now on to election day. Mm -hmm. Let people see that. But if you start having when I win, this is what I would do, then people start having that. For me, I, 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 I like that part that they're telling okay. us when we win, this is how people will be recommended for this kind of position. Okay. I, 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 I like that. People who are saying that because in the past, this, that, no, I don't believe them. They should say it. Let people know. Let me bring Isban, Mr. James Isban, you are live. Mr. Isban, welcome to Focus on Liberia. All right. James, James what's happening to our callers? Uh, be talking, I think I need to put this number in again. What's happening? Okay. Uh, Jasper, Mr. Mrs. Uh, Jasper Jaffa say Mr. Sia knows well that this framework is not in the interest of our democracy and also violates our constitution. Mm -hmm. Mr. Sia is only trying to justify his inclusion in their dream government. No, Jasper, you are wrong. We are analyzing this document and don't uh, suggest that anybody is trying to be part of any government here. Hamilton Zili said, instead of you guys speculating and reading into what is in the CPP collaboration framework, I think it will be prudent to invite one of the architects of said document to come explicitly tell us what is in it. James or, or Hamilton, we keep inviting them. They don't, they, we, we, we've not been successful to bring them on. But uh, we have, we have uh, as a, as of as a body here, we can we ourselves can read the documents and analyze it based on how we understand it, and it's open to uh, people to also call in and tell us so. No, you are wrong. This is what it says. If um, we have the opportunity for any for Mr. Cummings, who's the chairman, or any of those who are the architect to come on, invitations are out. We invited uh, Mr. Cummings. We also sent invitation to Mr. Darius Delon and whoever is on the CPP that can come and explain it, our doors are open. Uh, I would like to speak to this and explain why it has caused an clamor. That's Jimmy Eastman. Jimmy, we're trying to bring you in here. Uh, if you are live, Jimmy, uh, give us, Jimmy, are you there? Jimmy, are you there? Are... Yeah, Jimmy is still here. I don't know why we're not getting him. Yes. Good. I'm here. Can you hear me? Okay, we can hear you. You can hear me now? Yeah, go ahead, Jimmy. Hello. Okay, I, um, I, like, I like the topic, as usual, gentlemen. I don't know why this show is not as popular as I would have deemed. It always brings uh, intelligent conversation uh, to the table. Now, here's why I believe this um, mention of only those who have a, a party affinity to the CPP should be appointed. First of all, it, it distracts from what the main hold, hold, objective. Hold on, hold on, Jimmy. I don't want you to start on that premise. 
It is say uh, only those of CPP should be appointed. It said from by by recommendation, I, yeah. I guess. Yeah, of, they should be yeah, of they that. Partners to recommend their people, and they, they said we read section ten ten. Let me read that again. Section ten, I think. Okay. It's 10, 10, that uh, they will they will have that, and then all other qualified people. But let's say let's agree that it um, gives to the CPP. Go ahead. Yeah, so they, they want to give pref preference to those active members. And, um, again, um, what, are, what are you nesting here? You're nesting anyone who now wants to gain some job will align themselves with you just to get a position. Instead of it being merit-based, you are now making it based upon affinity to the CPP. We have seen re repeatedly, whenever it is based on relationship and other anything other than merit, it turns into a a administration of mediocre personnel. <laughs> because once. You, you're using anything other than capability and their track record, their integrity, their honesty. You, if you use any other measure other than that, then you're going to have people who, who will take advantage of their connections. And this is what's been going on all the time. We see people in positions that they they're not doing well. It's not. I, I think people have different capabilities, but they want they they're in a position that they're not fit well in, and then we don't want to repeat that. Number two, it takes to me it's taking the eye off the ball. What should be the unifying thing there? What what are, what do they plan? to build Liberia with? What, what are their philosophies? What are their, their policies? What are their, their beliefs that they're going to hold core central to the group that they're going to rebuild Liberia with? That should be the central uh, 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 um, unifying idea. Not, okay, only, you know, only us will get jobs. You know, once you have people who believe and Jimmy, espouse their doctrine and their beliefs. Jimmy, let me you know? let me read this to you and then you continue. Uh, that is section 10.11.1. All constituent political parties shall be represented in a cabinet. Cabinet positions shall be allocated among the constituent political parties and all other qualified Liberians. Constituent political parties and Okay. Or, or a qualify Liberian, right. whether or not they are members mm -hmm. of the alliance. So they're not restricted to their well, party. Yes, but what did they say first? They said all parties should be representative. Why are we putting that restriction on there? It is Why? good. Uh, it's, more, I, it's, 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 it's good. Yeah, the parties should be represented. They are fighting for this thing. You yeah. don't want them to be rewarded? 10, 11, and 1. No, no, no. Your reward is a better library. Your reward is not a position. That is the, 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 that's the concept we want to get out of people's mind. Why you got to be rewarded? When Liberia moves ahead, that's your reward. You don't have to get a position. There has been no promise of any position whatsoever. If you don't okay. trust the man who you're going to push in front, but then say you don't trust him. So you want to stipulate that. But there should be no promises. The only promise is a better Liberia. And so you better work to get it. You know? And, and that is, Jimmy, that me, is the whole read, thing that, that we, we, we wonder about. Jimmy, let me read you more know? to that. Uh, he read 11.1. 1, let me read 11.2 and 11.3. Constituent political parties shall recommend qualified members for appointment to cabinet, junior cabinet, technical level positions, local government administration, subject to all applicable laws. 11.3. Only known active and visible members of constituent political parties shall be recommended by the parties. And the so, key yeah. word there is so, ja, recommended. Is, recommended. That's yeah, the key but Jad, ja, ja, this is they're not. They only they're basing it on 
um, party affiliation instead of if the person espouses an ideal. You have to be, you can have a person who's in your party, but he is really espousing other ideas, exemplified by his actions, his track record, and his past, uh, uh, um, uh, you know, doings. You need people who will espouse central ideas, and that's who you should base it on. So if this person happened to be in all the meetings, but we can clearly see this man he is abusing, he believes in abuse of women, abuse of children. We know that because of how he manages his household, his past. We don't care if he's in your party. He no. has to espouse certain Jimmy, ideas. Jimmy, you got to recognize the words they're using. Even with the word recommended, they mentioned the word also qualify. And it said these individual can be, should be, will be subject to applicable laws. There are laws in Liberia, all right, that can prevent anybody from occupying a particular position. If the person have character issue, if they are lost, yeah, those laws will be used. They said that. Yeah, Mr. Mr. C, I think Jimmy has a point here. And Jimmy, I want to agree with what I want to agree with that, that uh, you know, our our appointment, and you said something very profound that we always look at when my party wins, I get this job has a reward. But you are saying the reward should be a better Liberia. You put it better than the way I put it from the beginning. Because, and Jimmy, let me, since you are here, let me take you back to the purpose or the primary goal of this coming together. According to uh, this framework, you say the, the objective, number yeah. one, the objective for which they came together is to present a single presidential ticket and a legislative or and all legislative candidates for all elections leading up to and including 2023 general elections. Uh, I wonder what, the, what will become of them after 2023, but that's another story. But I was saying if the primary objective of you coming together is to present a single ticket, I, I don't think, so when you said that, uh, your reward should be a better library and not a reward of a job. That's why I'm trying to link it back to their primary objective here, which is uh, presenting a single ticket, which I find too, you know, troubling. Your thoughts? Yeah. Um, okay. If let, let, let's go back to the, the 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 rudiments of the whole getting together. They want to have a one front, okay, to provide a. A, a good candidate that they all can support. Yeah. All right. But instead of developing the 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 central things that will keep them bonded, what is what is going to bond these guys together later on? What the is the, the framework? What all the frame? Okay. You know what make you and me more friendly, uh, Miss M M uh, Anthony. You know what makes me mean? We mean you closer. Our, our, we have the same ideas. ideas. That's what brings people close together. When okay. they have this, you can have your own brother. He can have, and the Bible even has a verse on this. It says, a nearby friend is better than a distant brother. You can have your own brother who, who espouses completely different ideas than yourself. But, but Jimmy, the idea, the ideal here is a single ticket. Yeah, but that's not enough. They need, we need to who have, decides it, that, it can, because they're talking about, uh, who decides that's that? not enough. Who decides that? What will be, what will be enough? If you, you need... my buddy, Jimmy, and I decide to go fishing because we want to call pepper soup and somebody is coming and say, what? Is that because of pepper soup you're going all the way? We decide that while we come together as friends or while we're going fishing. And these guys there express a sincere honesty to say, look, our primary purpose is to feed mm -hmm. a single candidate. And that is the reason why we are coming together as a political party. To you, Jimmy, now, what is that, that does not mean? mean that does not mean that by the time they come together, the win election is jolly jolly. No. The goal here is how do we go into the election? Oh, as a single person. I mean, as a, to feed, by feeding a single candidate. How do we do that? Okay. We got to define a framework okay. that brings us together. I, when we I start think, done I think that, I think I can. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let let me let me frame it this way. 
We've come together and said we are going to build a house. Right. That I, I, I can I, I measure building the house as the final objective as if we're going to field a candidate. Right. But before you build that house, mm-hmm. you have to find out what is going to be the location of that house. What is it going to be made of? How many floors is going to be? What kind of foundation are we going to set for that to support what our ideas? There are other things that have to come together before you build a, a house that's going to stand and be strong. You understand? So there's nothing wrong with, the, okay, the ultimate goal is to feel a candidate, a candidate. But what is going to bring that that candidate forth? What ideals, what principles that you're going to unite on that will bring that candidate forth? Because if it's just, if it's not uh, um, well thought out, then it would only, it will only be, a, again, a, 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 a disarray. But if they believe, they, they have central ideas that believe in that out of that comes this candidate, then you will see something that is more, have much more longevity. And most because they have something to 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 go go to go on instead thank of just you, just thank the you, candidate. You can conclude because you put it better than I put it when I was telling Mr. C that it is not enough to fee a candidate. But go ahead, make your concluding statement on your original point. And the two of you. So, uh, are just... so uh, um, to wrap it up, mm-hmm. yeah, we, um, we 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 want a better Liberia. And we want a, a, a library that is fair to all and will not be a, uh, um, a cater to, to, you know, um, the pat- patrimony we've been seeing. So we're not cater to bootlicking. We're not cater to uh, a mistreatment of other peoples. We've seen people, we've seen our people excluded from since uh, Liberia was, Liberia's inception, we've been excluding people based on whatever, ethnicity, uh, uh, political this, uh, political that. It's not fair when it, when it, there's nothing wrong with having your own um, originality, but it's not fair to treat and deny other people their rights because of that. We, that's one of the things that should be coming up. No more should we deny other people's rights because they don't belong to this group or they don't belong to that group. Those are the kind of things that will unify them and bring forth a candidate who will not deny other people because he's not part of their group or be part of that. You know, you have to build, you have to build a house made in, in, in with firm foundation. Then it will stand. Mm-hmm. There's many other uh, uh, policies that um, as long as you as you make them your guiding principle, then you won't go wrong, you know. And, and a lot of people that uh, 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 when they founding stuff like this, they use they like to use godly uh, uh, principles. Yeah. They bring God yeah. in the picture. Okay. We're a Christian, me, but uh, to be to be fair to but, them, let me read to you their guiding principles. They started with the okay. guiding. Principles. Create an environment in which each constituent political party shall feel secure politically, socially, and economically through the tenets of democracy, including the rule of law. Create a formidable political organization at all times and period in the history of Liberia. Advance causes of common interest for the duration of the alliance and work towards a merger in the future. Those are the four. To add to that, Jimmy, to add to that, in section 1.5, they talk about their core value because you were talking about value earlier. And, and I wish you have, uh, you know, taken a better look at this before coming. They say the core value not, of the line shall, not celebrating be, yet. <laughs> shall be, but not, I'm not celebrating. You and myself just doing an honest <laughs> not on any side yet. All right. You, you took your side, I took my side just to provide understanding for the people. So I'm not on any side yet. The no, core I, I'm not saying the line that. shall be, but not limited to the following equality. Transparency and accountability, integrity, inclusiveness, respect for the rule of law, peace and unity, discipline and highway, general equity. What you and Mr. Jai are doing here is just trying to intellectualize. You guys are trying to decide what should be in a document intended for these people to feed a single candidate. They are so simplistic and I like, that's the part I like about it. The flaws in the document, we can talk about it, but the people are saying, 
hey, people, we want to contest the next election as a unit. That is the major purpose. Yeah, we will talk about integrity and blah, blah, blah. But this is why we are, we should give it to them. Oh, Jimmy, okay. come through. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> we talked about this before. We don't want to re let it get it. Go, go ahead, Jimmy, conclude because Mr. Sia is going to. Yeah, let, let me. Let me uh, they, a lot of things they mention uh, are, are noble, but they're not specific enough. Okay? They, and if you, if you understand and they are not related our people to throughout history. Of coming together. Yeah. They just told it's them not that. specific. If you just if the, we have a we have uh, we have seen situations again and again, yeah, we want transparency, but we'll do our own thing on the side. You know, that is not enough to just throw that word out there. It's not enough. It has to be, it has to, you have so, to go so, deep, so uh, deeper than Jimmy, that. Jimmy, uh, I like the fact mm -hmm. that you are joining us to point out what you see, but all I see here, Jimmy, you are just intellectualizing. They're supposed to have their bones or have their media. No, no, you know, that's, 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 that's no. all you guys are doing here. These no, people no, are no, 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 together. No, no, listen room. to this. They are saying, uh, we want to, we want, we, our, our core values are equality, transparency, inclusiveness. But if you vote for any other party, we'll kick you out. Even though our, our value here is, inclusiveness, transparency, respect for the rule of law, discipline, gender equality. But hey, we have to, anytime <laughs> you, you even promote somebody else, or if you don't pay your deal. Let me ask, let me ask Mr. C a question. Do, do you think, will, if, if Liberia was to be pushed forward for the advancement of Liberia, mm -hmm. um, and none of them get a job, do you think they will be doing that today? I don't know. I don't in their minds. Okay, mm -hmm. and this is and this is this is it. We we've seen people take advantage of us. Yes, they claim they for the masses. As soon as they get there, it becomes a different thing. So the only way we will know these people are real is if we listen to the ideas they espouse, Mr. C. And these there people can you have any kind of wrong, lip Jimmy. service. There where you guys get it wrong. If somebody craft a beautiful document that you will say, yes, this is it. It amounts to absolutely nothing. It amounts mm -hmm. to, because all you guys are saying here, this document could have been better. It's not better. Why they couldn't make it better? And that's why you are saying, and I'm telling you, even if they did that, it means nothing. It's not a guarantee that because they have a well-defined goal and document, that talk about the issues in the country, the how and why, then the problem is solved. It does not solve the problem. Thank and you. I'm seeing my argument here. These people say, hey, we want to free a single candidate. All the things you see here, our goal, main goal here is to free a simple candidate. And that's what we're doing here. Mm. All right. Oh, okay. So it's really about feeding a simple candidate. But why they put the job issues there? Or if Why you need a single candidate, if you, win, if you win, you have to define a process how you will be able to occupy the position. Okay. Thank, thank you, Jimmy. We, we, we mm -hmm. almost out of time. Okay. Let me bring you uh, Joe okay. Morgan. Then we All right. Because we are way out of time. Yeah, I'll bring Joe in. Yes, sir. Joe, you well, are I'll live. And I will be very quick. I will be very quick. Uh, very, very good topic, gentlemen. But I think... What I've been hearing basically is what they call the paralysis of analysis. The people just came over for documents, mm -hmm. kind of like an operating agreement, basically. This yeah. is not a manifesto, so I don't know why these people are overanalyzing it. Okay. Why At you some so? point, they might, come, they might come with something more spe uh, specific. They might tweak the wording. But for now, all I'm hearing is like the paralysis of analysis. Mm -hmm. So, so Joe, what, uh, I'm really, not, you know, at some point they will come up with that specific? manifesto. See, this, this what binds us. Pardon me. You think this is not specific? Go ahead. I think it's fine as it is. Okay. What What do you think? Document, according to the document, what do you think binds them together? Well, they went into some details in terms of it, all these guys have the same ideology. It's not like. One group, a Marxist-Leninist ideological group, and the other one is 
uh, you know, uh, a, a democratic or capitalist. They all have one ideal uh, ideology. They how you know to that? See the best for Liberia, and that's what binds them together. No, but how you know that's that? That's what binds them. They, it's not in the document. How I read the document from. I, I read it from the the first to the last page. Uh huh. So, so what they will come. Mean? They will later come with a manifesto, no, and no, that no. manifesto is. It's a docu that's a document we should look out for. But for now, yeah. it's just something, it's an operating agreement that ties them together. That's all. Yeah, but what's in the document that tell us that this is what binds us together? Feeding the single candidate? I, I don't have an issue with that. But, but mean, that's, the bind, that, that's what put them together, right? Okay, that's fine. Ideologically, they, they, want, they, they want the same thing. And they, they listed in the document from, you know, uh, when I had the document, there was uh, one or two things that I saw and I put question mark to it. But yeah, after I thought about it, I said, okay, show me. these guys will revisit, they will revisit this document yeah. at some point. This is not cast in stone. No, that's what we're it not saying it's not that. Cast in stone. I just want to see where these guys say we have the same ideology. We have the same governing philosophy and that's why we are coming together. I, I don't see it, but, but, but just conclude so we can take a- it, 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 They don't have to say it. It goes without, it goes without saying, it's implied. If you no, read it, it's implied. implied. Okay. All right. That's so why Mr. Mr. Jar, the point you guys Mr. continue Jar. to, to miss- Mr. Jar, Mr. Jar, this is, it's, it's not, kind of like a binary choice between these guys. It's not Bernie Sanders going up against Joe Biden. Well, one person say I'm a socialist, the other one say I'm a hardcore capitalist. All the Liberian parties believe in the same thing. Let's and not I pretend that they don't, that they all have different. Has been our problem, the people do not, we don't have a governor anything. All we have is individuals contesting. Choose me, or is Ada Cummings, or is uh, we are, or is Wakai. There's no philosophy. So I thought I could see that there. Yeah, but but just Mr. Make Mr. Your Mr. Could we be a little, could we be a little bit more patient? And these guys, let's see what these guys have. But they'll probably come up with a manifesto. But right now it's just kind of like a, you know, an agreement between parties. So what are they agree? We they, will... and the agreement is Mr. The... Mr. Jar, I don't know how to put this thing. This that from the framework that these people sign is their bylaws, and that's why it is. Uh -oh. So why you want in the yeah. people bylaws? This is your by laws as to how they will hold together. Exactly. How they will be able to feed candidates, how they will be able to decide yes. if they win, who become this and that. It that is framework. what it is. It is not a document telling the Liberian yeah. people that when we win, this is what we'll do for you. That is not it. And it's this no. simple. No. Okay. It's not Let a me press, 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 press conclude because uh, Mr. C will say the same thing <laughs> over and over. So it's like, to me, it's like a broken but record. Mr. Jai, you just saying the same thing over and over. You and myself doing the same thing. Yeah, because. Everything I was saying, Mr. Sia, yeah. he, he said it better than I was saying. I'll make that thing simple for you. You stay asking the same <laughs> question. So I will give you the same answer because the answer remains the same. Mr. Mo, you please okay, conclude. Okay, gentlemen. Thanks a lot, man. Okay. Nice let's, problem. Bye. Let's bring in Dixon Gonga. Dixon, you will be our last caller. Oh. Uh, 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 thank you very much for taking me on the show. Okay. Uh, I want to differ with the brother who just left that uh, the free work is not a manifesto. It is false. The free work is a manifesto. It is the idea you are, you are, you are projecting. It is your input. So people shouldn't come here and try to play with other people intelligent. We are all educated people here. So if you make a mistake, come on air and tell people that you make a mistake. You cannot be bad lashing uh, other people yesterday or even today, and then you come and make the same mistake. So they are already tell me, I who am Zeki Gonga, a me that clear court, I will never return to Liberia and even get a sweeping job on that document across it. I don't you think see so. That? that is the well, that's, that's it. You don't the need guy to who, the guy who's speaking, uh, uh, he doesn't he, he didn't even read the document. You can he even read the document. He's talking as though he's he read the document. You can make that conclusion. I can make that conclusion if he reads the document. Let him just quote one single thing from that document. Just one. He's, I mean, I, 
I don't care whether he is that, but he's defending it. So that's why I want to know. He's saying it's not a, a manifesto. It is a manifesto. It is the no, idea it's not a manifesto. It's not a manifesto. Have you been it part is, of a pop table before? It's not what going to live by because it's what the project is. Then why you, why you telling us that? It's not a manifesto. The manifesto of a, of a political is. institution is what it will use as a governing tool for the country that they want to lead. Oh, that's, what, that's not it. That's what I'm telling this you. Like they are bad laws as to how they, they will operate, not how they will run the country. No, no. Mr. This no, is no, not a no, document no, no, about no. how they will run the country. The document that tells you how you will run the that's... country is your manifesto. Uh -huh. This is not a manifesto, but my that's... friend. No, but the... okay, listen now. Let, let's so take who told you that it's a manifesto? The party... They told you that? Do you know who they decide what they can be the manifesto me. of a political party? Do you know who decide that? That institution decide to tell you this is our manifesto. You don't decide, you the outsider. What is manifesto? That boy understand what is what is manifesto. Your manifesto is what you going to use in your political period or political time to assume power, to assume power. And then when you assume power, it is a manifesto the government used to project what they're going to do for the people. So you see that where you are wrong. That let is me, not it. Let, that let is not know. it. Let him conclude. If we can take one more caller, or we can we can end it because we are way out of. <laughs> Let me let me let me make my point then. Let me just let me just clarify. Maybe give me a second. Let me clarify. Yeah. Go ahead. Hello. Yeah. Go ahead. You are protected. We always believe in. Yeah, we always believe in people. You know, politics. Because I remember back in 2006 when Eric King and said, "Please give me six years." Yeah, only one thing. People believe in them, and then at the end of the day, it turned to 12 years. These guys are coming with this situation today, and now we're trying to bag them up. Let us tell these guys what they did was wrong. And I, the guy on his studio today, he said they're going to carry back the weapon. So we have to tell them a space is a space. They, are, they were wrong. You cannot be criticizing CDC today that they are putting people in government. And we shall know that it's not only CDC in government today. There are other people who are working in government. And then you come and use the online war only. The war they use that is only, only CPP member. So it is wrong. We should tell them in both faces that it's Thank wrong. You. Thank you for allowing me on your show. Th thank you. I like uh, just our final 605-215-2211. Just be brief so we can end this. Yes. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you. Your name and where you are from? Alex Nimle. Alex, welcome. And to I want to say thanks to you. Yeah. I want to say thanks to you people that are in the studio. You know, like this morning, I listened to the the chairman and he came out because there's a there are a lot of the questions I raised and he he said that it's not a final document but he still or he stay asking Liberian what their what their opinion what you think that's not right be able to say yes I want it for I want this to happen at this I want this you no know, any document this is not right this is not right and they will go back and get it and get it straight up. Okay. They are not bringing it to say no. They are forcing it on Liberian people. So they need people to to come up with solutions. Yeah. There are some of the things he talked about. So you know, like we're getting out of falls around. Yes, no, this is not right. This is not. But what you think you can do? Where your idea is all the uh, it is why the chairman talked about this morning. Oh, so yeah. at least it wouldn't just criticize. But if you criticize, be able no. At, this is not right, but here's what I need. At least if they, if they put this in this document, this is my idea, and this is my idea. They will look into all those ideas to take the best one to be able to use it for the betterment of, of the people. So thank I want to say thank you. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Th thank you so much. So again, this is a work in, a work in progress, as uh, Alex is saying. So uh, what we are doing too is to uh, give our own interpretation and that will help in the process of the CPP out of making it better or because there's always room for improvement. Let me read one last comment and Mr. Sia, we can just wrap it up. Uh, Bartholomew Wilson said, look, we shouldn't try to polish things here. This is an agreement that forms the basis for a collaboration and if said found if said foundational framework contradicts the principle of unity, inclusiveness, and equality, I see no reason why it should be celebrated 
in the by if the bylaws of the CPP has insinuated that Mr. Sia already creates a medium for discrimination, segregation, and divisiveness. Mr. Mr. Wilson, I think you're taking it too far. But anyway, let me read. Why should Liberians support such a collaboration? The manifesto is not binding. What is binding is the bylaws and constitution. We should judge the CPP on the basis of their framework. It is counterproductive and should be rejected. Okay, and Dave asked who signed the document. So let's go at the bottom of this thing and see and conclude on this or before we, uh, this document, let's read the uh, signatories to see who all form part of this document. Oh, uh, the framework is, and this is the final word, the framework is binding on all political parties who are signatories to this instrument and all other parties that may join after the signing of this framework. It shall be binding on the institution and its members as if they individually sign on to it. This collaborating framework will come into effect as of the date of signing by the legitimate leaders. I don't know what the legitimate leader is. Legitimate leaders of the parties and upon being deposited with the National Elections Commission, having been full or duly probated. Done on this day, sign Isaac Mane, acting chairman, Unity Party, attested Ambassador Joseph Newman Buakai, political leader, Unity Party, sign Senator Steve A. Zako, chairman, Liberty Party, attested Senator Yonbli Kanga Lawrence, political leader, Liberty Party, sign Senator Daniel Nathan, chairman, Alternative National Congress, attested Alexander Benedict Cummings, political leader, Alternative National Congress, Signed Fyodor Momo, Chairman All Liberian Party, attested Benino Wilfred Yuri, political leader, All Liberian Party. Drafting Committee, Roland Lafayette Giddings, Chairman, Unity Party, Horatio Lafayette Gould, Co Chairman, Alternative National Congress, Momo J. Sambola, Co Chairman, All Liberian Party, Martin Kola, Co Chairman, Liberty Party, Jacob Smith, Repertoire, Liberty Party, Muhammad Ali, member, Unity Party. Clarence Massaqua, member, Unity Party. Fong Zogli, member, Unity Party. Abraham D. Delon, member, Liberty Party. Rogi Barry, member, Liberty Party. Abraham D. Delon, again, member, Unity Party. I don't know why he's here twice. Aloysius To, member, Alternative National Congress. Justin P. Zigbo, member, ANC. Jonathan T. Dolake, member ANC, uh, Quilliman M. Josh, member ALP, Reverend Sanji A. D. Scepter, Scepter, member ALP, and Antonin Nimlen, member of Liberian Party. And they have other people there. So that's- uh, We need to conclude. That, that, that is not important. We need to that's conclude. very important, Mr. C.A. We, All right. we will put face names to this document. And that's why I like that. Let the people decide what they want to do, what is important. Nobody should decide for them. And uh, you said it's important to you. That's good. I agree with that. So that to conclude, this will be my concluding statement. I maintain that uh, the collaborating political parties uh, have made it clear uh, what that intention is in this uh, collaboration, now turn an alliance and they couldn't be more clearer, uh, more simplistic uh, in any way than they have done. They are clear that their primary goal here is to feed a single presidential and vice presidential candidate in the coming election as well as legislative elections. It is on this basis and other things that have brought them together to sign this framework. I argue that this is more than a bylaw or this is exactly a bylaw, putting them together and making them a unit. This is not a manifesto. This is not a governing manifesto as to how they will lead Liberia. The documents spell out their leadership, the function thereof, there are other limitations. This document is not perfect, but they couldn't be clear by saying this is why we're coming together. This is the structure. This is how you can become a member. This is how you can lose membership. On the issue of jobs, where people who didn't read a document just come here, hold a just devaluing job, these people who are saying these things, they need to go and read a document 
and start lying to themselves and pretending that they are lying to the Liberian people. The document in 10.11.1 says, all constituent political parties shall be represented in the cabinet. Cabinet position shall be allotted among constituent political parties and all other qualified Liberians, whether or not they are members of the alliance. So I can't cook the food and you tell me I should not taste the food just because I'm cooking the food for you know, everybody in the house. I have to taste the food. The people have done nothing absolutely wrong to decide how they will go about uh, bringing members of their political uh, parties into government. The process is clear. Further down, they say recommended, recommended, recommended by their parties. And it is restricted to them how they should recommend. And I think the, the, their intention here is clear. The communicator A, uh, in a very uh, simplistic way, the other issues, the nuances, uh, the flaws that that we all are flawed. We all are flawed human beings, and uh, people should not think that this thing is intended to divide you. The people did not craft a document to tell you how they will run the country. They crafted a document that bind them together. And on that note, I hope uh, we were able to achieve our goal here. Our basis here is to share with you our differences of opinion in terms of understanding the document. That is not to say, I am Sonny C, I'm a member of the CPP. I'm trying to be your talk show host here, and that's my job. I hope that the side I told in giving my understanding of document, my intention was to make sure that even if you didn't agree with me, you will gain some understanding based on your disagreement. And if you agree with Mr. Jai, my differences of opinion will also provide a better understanding of the document. And that's the sole purpose of what we try to do. On that note, I want to say thank you for giving us all your time to listen to us. Uh, we made mistakes, we are human, and uh, wherever we, if we say anything wrong, we are sorry. Uh, again, we are all humans, and uh, that's what we try to do. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. And uh, on that note, we say thank you also for watching and uh, being a part of it for participating. Again, I think uh, the reason why they are coming together to make it primarily on feeling a single candidate, I think, I still think that is not enough. They should try to bring others along, even those that are not part of the collaborating parties. I know it's their, it's their first attempt at this. And uh, with what we have said, with the way we look at it from all angles, I think the uh, CPP or members of the CPP can go back and look at it critically and take what we said, good and bad, and see how they can work with our opinions and our view of the document and make it better. The common denominator here is Liberia that we all try to make better. I don't think anybody sat down and find ways on how to promote themselves is all about Liberia. We may go at it differently, but at the end of the day, we want to see that uh, Liberia become the place that we all want it to be. That is that sweet land of liberty. This was our holiday special. We thought that uh, you are having your holiday uh, out of the OAU day, that is uh, African Liberation Day, or the Memorial Day, whatever you are celebrating today, we say, Thanks for joining us, taking some time to join us and look at the CPP. You can go again and say you, you don't understand the CPP document. I think we have provided some meat for you to go and chew on. And if you have not already read the document, you can take it and uh, read it and see right. how what we have said jive with what you say in there. Until then, from all of us here at Focus on Liberia, my name is Dennis Ja signing off. Yeah.